Hello everybody, welcome back to Dumpster Shark Plays Spelunky 2. Today is the 5th of January, 2021. It is 1.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it is election day in Georgia. So if you live in Georgia, you know what to do. <laughs> um, no, uh, let's, let's keep going as Tina. Tina is pretty good. I like her a lot, but I, I do want to play as other characters, so let's <laughs> let's hope we get lucky and be, are able to get to the eggplant world today. I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I'm not going to be too optimistic. Uh, we actually we had the opportunity to get to the eggplant world yesterday, but the eggplant child, as they like to do, uh, ran into a UFO at the start of a Neo-Babylon level and got blown up. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, it, it happens. But regardless, we're here today. I'm still waiting on my uh, emotes to be finished. Um, I was hoping they would have been done, you know, already, but I understand it takes some time. I guess, you know, I wasn't really expecting that it'd be done uh, too soon, but then when they finished my badges earlier, I was like, oh, they'll be done with the emotes soon. And they might be. It might be like another day or two. Who knows? Or maybe it's a different artist, because it's like, like I said, it was, I was using Fiverr, and it's just like, it's, it's more of a company than a singular person, which in the future I, I will go with someone that is maybe working by themselves. But anyway, uh, let's see. I think the main reason I went with Fiverr was because a lot of them said, you know, they'll be done within like a couple of days. Whereas I know like some of the artists that I, I saw, um, like independent artists were, uh, they would say it would take them like a week or to, a week to three weeks, some of them. And I was like, well, I gotta get it done soon. So I may, I may like, you know, uh, commission someone in the future just to, just to uh, update the emotes and the badges that I will have, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, we might as well just go. I don't think there's anything else to do on this floor, and we have a decent amount of cash. We got another bit of HP. We have an early altar, which is very good. Um, not a great shop, unfortunately, but the skeleton key is nice. And it looks like we have uh, the U Jedi on this floor as well. Let's set that off before I forget about it. Uh, and did I see? Was there? There's a caveman down there. Uh, we may not be able to get him up here in time. We could if we used a rope. Well, we'd have to use a rope anyway. But uh, I don't really know. If I want to do that. Okay. That actually allows us to get back up there without using a rope right now. But again, if we want that caveman, we're going to have to use a rope. Potentially. We can't even get him now. Uh, we might be able to if we set up the log trap. We'll see. Number one priority should be finding Percy, though. Because Percy's worth the most favor. Uh, and that scares me. If we send that straight down it won't kill Percy but it might trap him but at the same time like we don't really have another option we'll have to use bombs regardless I think so yeah rather than like yeah that's that's what I figured would happen but that, that's all right um now we have access to the caveman Gotta be careful here. I do not want to accidentally hit the curse pot somehow. I, I mean, I won't, because there's a, a web in front of it, but... Crap. <laughs> well... Uh, we may not get that caveman up there. And again, that's fine. Percy's number one.
And in fact, I'm gonna use another rope here. Because this might allow us to actually get the caveman. It's gonna be close. I should have done that in the first place. Uh, so, you know, my bad, but... We already have the U Jedi. We don't really need to do anything else, I don't think. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. And the Horned Lizard on the other side, you know, we want to try to get him too. See, yeah, like, I took some damage even trying to get that. That's all right. The Horned Lizard has been hit by the Arrow Trap, though, so nope. Okay. Uh, so we're like five favor away from the Kapala. That's not terrible. Let's come in here and get the torch. Because we may end up wanting to cook the turkeys on the next level. I really doubt it. Uh, the only way I would really do that, I think, is if we got... If we ended up getting another altar. Although we have to... Like, we have to use a bomb to get this turkey out of here. That's always frustrating when you have to use, use resources to get the turkeys, but... Um... I mean, I don't really want to do it, but at the same time, like... It is so nice to have turkeys later on. Like in Volcana, so... What do we have in there? A mat could be nice. You know what, let's... No, I forgot I had the pitcher's bin. I'm sorry, turkey. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Uh, well... It's still alive, uh, but I'm worried, for sure. Get that out of here. Let's let's do some gambling. The Matic, like I said, it could be nice. It'll actually help us with the turkey to uh, fully tame it. Because we can set, like, create a little safe area for it so we don't drop all the way down. You know what, the cape... Cape is not my favorite item, but it, it can be helpful early on. The only reason I really don't think it's that good is because Vlad's cape is so much better. Oh no, that's exactly what I was trying to avoid. You dumb turkey. Alright, it's my fault, but come on, man. We've already spent a lot of time on this floor. We gotta be careful. We don't want to drop the mattock on top of the turkey. Um, Percy, if Percy's walking, he won't actually do, do damage. Guess we're leaving the torch behind. Or did we already we already dropped it down, I think. I don't know I'm coming down here for this gold and I ignored the uh, other gold bar that was up top there. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I hate I hate the amount of time that this is taking. I don't really know what to do here. I don't think we're gonna be able to get to Yang. Unless we go back up there. Uh you know what? Come over here really fast. Okay. Only have 30 seconds. I don't think it's worth using our, like, last resources to get the turkeys up there, but at the same time, like, we might get a crate or something. Like, I honestly, I don't know, but the ghost is also here, so... What a nightmare. Where did I leave the Matic? All right, I should have just cooked the turkeys and I'm realizing that now, but. Cause I, I really don't even know we can get down here without angering anyone. We can, but we're probably gonna die to the ghost. What do we have over here, a crate? Okay, hallelujah. Uh, shoot. The ghost is gonna split off in 10 seconds. I kind of wish it was 45 seconds per, per split. And there's a snake up there? How did I not get hit by that? Or how did I not see it? One or the other. Uh, God. You know what? We're restarting this run. <laughs> I could have used a, my last rope there. I just... I can't stand, like, runs like that. You get no items from shops. Uh, you get nothing. We didn't get a Kapala because we, you know, we didn't have enough favor from that one altar. And it just, I was gonna die if I tried to get that turkey to Yang, but at the same time, like, you know, it's, it's just annoying. It's annoying. 
And I said earlier I, d I didn't want to restart on runs like that, but I I'm gonna restart on runs like that. I, I, I can't... <laughs> I can't in good conscience, conscience do like a... Uh, like continue on when I know that that run is cursed from the start. Um, also, I missed Percy because I broke that that bone wall for some reason, but that's all right. Not not as great, not as good of a first floor as the last run, but the last run had a pretty bad third floor. Second floor was okay because it had the altar, but the shop was really bad. Uh, this shop is okay. I like the spike shoes a lot, but I think the thing that I really want to see more than more than anything would be paste and bombs. So hopefully, you know, we could get a 1-3 shop too. Like right now we don't have enough money to buy anything, but we would have been able to rob the shop. Okay. Not a huge fan of like everything that's going on here, but we're still alive. Got another idol. That's coming back to life. Uh, hopefully we find the Ujedi soon. There it is, okay. And then as for the shop, I don't even remember what I saw. I saw spike shoes, I saw spectacles. You know what, that's a pretty decent shop. Uh, I would like to get the present, you know, if we can, but... Only, well, really only if there's an altar. Like, even if there's not, I'd like to get it, but... I don't know if it's worth, to, worth it to come back up here. If there is no altar. And even if there is an altar, like, getting an eggplant, like, early on is, is a little frustrating for me. When I have to keep the hired hand uh, alive. <clears throat> And well through throughout uh, Volcana or the jungle, depending on which way we decide to go. But getting a jetpack would be another big, big thing because I could do the chill and skip a little bit more easily, I think. And there's no altar here, so we're we're not gonna use a ro some ropes to get back up there. Also, uh, Guillotine Danny showed me a way to do this, which is apparently safer than the way I've been doing it. Uh, just throwing the the idol through the the bone the bone structure there it works i'm afraid that one of these days a skull is going to fall on top of my head and, and stun me so i may i may actually keep doing the back whip thing because it, it hasn't failed me yet like i'm not but this like i've i've you know sometimes if you run through a bone structure really fast a skull drops on your head <laughs> so and if that stuns me then i'm going to get killed by the log trap so i don't know We'll see, we'll see. That's coming back to life. Got Yang in there, he's trapped again. Not a huge fan of the the Yang setups we've had. We got another shop. It's got climbing gloves though. Uh, I'll take those. But that that's it. There's like, you know, there's nothing else. The boomerang is fine. <laughs> it allows us to set off that air trap. Uh, I kind of want to set this one off. I don't know why. I, I, if I even drop down there, I'm dead because of the spikes, but not if I do something like that, you know? Uh, okay. Well, we need the, we need the turkeys if we want to give them to Yang. Oh, gosh. The problem is I do not really want to use resources to make that happen. Although, you know, one rope. And a bomb. The bomb is not exciting, but the, the rope, it, I mean, it's not exciting to use it, but it could be fine. And I mean, either way, we have to make a decision soon. So I think I'm just going to look to see if there's an altar really fast. There is not. And then I guess, yeah, we'll just give the, the turkeys to Yang. We might be able to get back up there without... I don't think so, without using a rope, no. Uh, I, yeah, we can. We have climbing gloves. Alright. It's more the bomb that I'm worried about, because we, we don't have very many. Uh, I don't really know. I don't want to set it too close to him, because I have seen him get pissed off. But 
this is what I was hoping for. Uh, I already had those, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but we got bombs. We got bombs back. That, that's that's good. That alone is worth it. But then again, like having the turkeys, you know, in Volcana is also very good. Uh, let, let's let's take the curse pot with us. Was there anything down here that we wanted? Um, I honestly kind of want the boomerang. Not a ton, but I, I think it's it's decent. Okay. And then let's let's pop our heads over here really fast. I don't think there was anything going on, but a little bit of gold. And we're on the quillback. I always like the streams that I start off and like the very first run I do is one where I get to the Cosmic Ocean and make a lot of progress. That's not today, obviously, because we restarted, but uh, we could still like get an early run that, that's very good. Power pack is interesting. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> All right, we're still good. Four HP, you know, uh, could be better, obviously. It could be at five, which we were just at. Okay. No skeleton key there. Also, I saw that Twiggle is doing a, a stream right now with webcam. I don't. Has anyone seen what his face looks like? I have not seen what his face looks like. I was curious to check, but I was like, I'm late for my stream anyway, so not that it matters. You know, usually like the first 30 minutes to an hour, I don't have anyone in here anyway, but. Uh, Uh, you know what, let's, let's use the, oh gosh, the boomerang there, uh, that's interesting, I was gonna use my spike shoes, but you know, the boomerang actually helped out, but it also <laughs> scared the crap out of me, uh, alright, what did I, did I leave anything up there, oh, we wanted to check these for skeleton key too, We have we have plenty of uh, plenty of ropes for now, plenty of bombs as well. But I really like a run where we get you know, uh, like forty to fifty bombs early on, and then uh, haste as well. Because I was watching I was watching Groom last night. And he got the alien compass for, he said for the first time in a while, but he's like, he was saying how good it is in Cosmic Ocean. And I I, think, I haven't had it in Cosmic Ocean yet, just because I'm always like, well, I'd rather have the resources. And I rarely have good runs, or like runs like where I get so many resources early on, going through Volcana, and you have to go through Volcana to get the alien compass. Uh, but also you want a jetpack so you can do the onk skip more easily, or unless you have climbing gloves and you can do it that way, which I, I just, I suck at doing it like that way, so. Climbing gloves and the Bladscape, that is. We don't even need to be over here. But I do want to get this gold, I guess. We need to find the key. Where, did we already miss it? It wasn't up here, was it? No, okay. Uh, hired hand, I kind of want to get to. This sucks, we have to go Actually, ooh, careful. Can we get back? Can we get down this way? There is a, there is an altar too, which is very good. Okay. There's a lot to do on this floor. There's the key. We, we might just use a bomb. No, we don't have to use a bomb. We have a, a robot. That's so nice. Okay. There's the skeleton key. Uh, we didn't need the key after all, but that, that's just, that's fine. <laughs> I think we can make that jump, yeah, okay. Now we want to get the caveman down there and the hired hand. I don't really want to make this jump, or try this jump, I should say. The, you know, the lava being right there, if I miss it and I just fall in the lava, I'll feel pretty stupid. Okay. So the caveman is going to be 
the difference maker when it comes to getting the Kapala. See, like, I missed that. I, I don't... I don't want to have that happen over lava. Although, since we're going at an angle, we wouldn't have fallen on it anyway. We don't need the rope either. Like, the rope is it's fine. Okay, we have spikes. We've got to be careful here. I really want the Kapala now. Like, I don't want to wait for it. Okay, go, go, go. Because we may or may not... Oh, there were turkeys over there, too. I forgot what we gave a... Anyway, we, we don't want to have to worry about the turkeys. It's nice to have more turkeys here, but, uh, yeah, we don't want to have to worry about them. We might take two with us and cook them later. But yeah, anyway, like, uh, doing the onk skip could be really good. We actually do have to use another rope to get back up here. Since the shop was down there, we can't, uh, go through that. Yeah, we're taking two turkeys with us. We're not taking the boomerang. We don't need it, really. Uh, it, it, it can be helpful. But... I don't know. Well, oh, gosh. Well, I mean, there, there's a lava mander there. We want, we want to get hit by the drill. Oh, come on! Well, we're screwed now. This sucks. Uh, at least the Lava Mander seems to be dead. But we got not. Well, not only did we have lava there, we had a shop. <clears throat> so that's a big bummer. Maybe we can. <laughs> maybe we can still uh, be forgiven. I kind of doubt it. Or he just got completely destroyed. We'll, we'll see. But yeah, that lava is pretty bad. Um, I didn't have enough... I mean, I have enough bombs to get down. Now I do, especially, because we got some in that crate. Uh, but I didn't want to use all my bombs to get down to Vlad's castle. And once I saw that lava mander, I was like, let's... We gotta just go. We gotta do it while it's... Before it spits lava up and, you know. But anyway, am I unmuted? Yeah. I just have to check. 23 minutes into the stream. Uh, I'm just gonna go. Look out. <clears throat> well, at the very least, we can farm blood here. Maybe, if there are vampires available to us. So we gotta be careful. Like, let's, uh... Let's actually look to see... If and where there are any vampires. I don't see any yet, which is not great. Do we have an arrow we can use to kill this uh, hired hand? We don't need an arrow. Well, we need we would need two arrows, but... Uh... So the reason I'm killing the hired hand... Is because I feel like it's easier to use their dead bodies to farm blood than it is to, you know, have them alive. We got two crates in here. Pace would be huge. Spring shoes would be huge. Um, shotgun is not huge. No vampires, huh? I mean, there might be some to the left, but... It's funny, you get these levels where you have, like, you know, a ton of vampires. Like, so many, and you don't have the Kapala. And then you get some where you have, like, literally one. One vampire, which is not enough to farm for infinite blood. Uh, we can still farm some blood off of it. So we'll give it a shot, but not it's not going to be a lot. Um, and because of that, I'm gonna actually going to kill all the hired hands, too. Gosh dang it. So yeah, it, like, died so quickly. But yeah, like, uh, the higher hands, you know, we can get some blood from them. Oops, wrong one. As long as you don't whip them, you're fine. They might release a patch in the future. I doubt it, but, like, where if you throw stuff at them that they get mad. That would be hilarious in a way, especially if it, if it was in the patch notes, which it would be. Um, people would, most people would know. Most people read the patch notes. Not, well, maybe not most. 
but a lot of people read the patch notes. Uh, anyway, I could have brought those guys with me too, in case there's another altar on the next floor, but... I don't, I don't really have uh, high hopes for this run at this point. Uh, having, you know, killed the shopkeeper there. It's pretty bad. 16 HP is good though, and we still have the turkeys. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna cook them. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to find a better place to do it. And we wanna whip them first for some, for some blood. That's not a good place, necessarily. Maybe we're, no, it's, it's definitely not a good place because of the conveyor belts. If we find an imp, that would be the time to do it. Or even, you know, one of these fire bugs that's, or a rock dog. Okay, uh, we've gotta be careful here. You know what we wanna do, actually? We, we actually wanna get rid of this robot. And I am just gonna kill the turkeys. The more HP we have for this, the better, in case we, like, screw it up and get hit by the rock dog, but also, like... Uh, even if nothing goes wrong, if I land on the rock dog just fine, we wanted to get the blood from them anyway. Okay, 21 HP, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, shoot. Let's leave the rock dog up here. Just because I don't want her to shoot it. Because it is nice having a... Having a mount here. Especially one that is fire resistant. Okay, let's get the bow really fast. Now the crate. We don't, we don't even know what the one over there was, but... Bombs are nice. 14 bombs, 14 ropes. That's, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we don't care about min-maxing the Matic, really, so I'm not gonna... ...worry about that at all. Okay. So now I think we just break it really quick. It doesn't seem to be... I don't know how... I, I see Groomp do that, where he, like, sends this crush block down, and then he immediately, like... He's able to crush the Matic. I know you can like do it from the side to the side, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll just break it this way. I thought maybe he just like, as soon as he... Uh, as soon as he broke the block, he hurry and dropped the Matic, but... And that might be exactly what he did, but I, I'm just not... I wasn't able to do it there. Oh gosh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know why that happened. Come on. This is bad, it's gonna be the death of me. Oh, freak off, okay. We're good, we're good. Yeah, I forgot about you. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I think it'll take like four levels before we're forgiven. That's only if we don't piss him off any further. But you know, uh, this level, Olmec, and then one more, right? Maybe? I think that's the way it works. Or maybe it's just this level? Maybe we do I don't even know. Uh, I guess we'll see. That skeleton's not coming back to life. Do you want to go back for Percy potentially? No, never mind. I forgot. I forgot. That's fine. The lava no longer counts against us, which is like it's such an it's such a good change because it really is BS when you the drill kills the shopkeeper and then like you have to deal with him dying to lava over and over again and that keeps counting against you and it makes it take forever for you to be forgiven or we're to the point where you're never forgiven. You just can't be, because it's... Uh, anyway. I just, you know, I, was, I spent like the all level talking about how the shopkeepers were mad at me, and then I forgot <laughs> at the end there. Uh, 
It's alright. Look out. Let's kill this, uh... Nope, we're gonna leave the skeleton alive. Um... Again, a decent amount of HP, all things considered. I mean, it's not even just decent, it's very good. Oh my gosh, I hate when I do this. It throws me off so much. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, no pace yet though means we're gonna have to do the the four bombs, one rope version of the Onk save. Potentially. Uh, we don't even need to mess with that skeleton. But yeah, it's a, it's a very good amount of HP. You know, we, we don't have... We don't have uh, whatever it's called. The 99 HP from, you know... Farming vampires, but... Which I'd like to have, but that, that being said, you can build up that HP pretty quickly with Vlad's Cave. And a bunch of altars later on if we get some. Uh, Man of Tusk, Spouse of Pleasure, you know, that's 8 HP for free, and then potentially another 6 or even more if you kill the bodyguards. It was actually pretty close uh, to me getting blown up there, but we made it out. Uh, can we don't need the we don't need all the money. So I will just. Rather than scouring this area, I'll just take one path and just, you know, get to the top as quickly as possible. We'll collect the money we, we come across. Uh, let's, let's get the hired hand. We don't want to forget that guy. We don't need Percy. And I think we need to use a rope to get him anyway. Since we didn't uh, use Olmec. Okay, he can get out of there and he'll get killed by the... Oh gosh. The Clam Trap. Oh, I oh I do have Spike Shoes. For a second there I was like, did I do I have Spike Shoes? But no, we did. Uh, thank goodness. That's a very good place to set him. Uh, and this is this is one of those times where I'm like, man, I'm really glad we have climbing gloves. It happens a lot. I think it really does. Look out. Uh, Do this. All these skeletons love to come to life. Uh, no pictures made this time. I had it on, you know, like la the la. Oh, I forgot. You know, we want to we want to get rid of him. I think after this level, he'll be good. I think. I guess we'll find out. Uh, speaking of pictures made. I love paste. <laughs> um, 
teleporter's fun, but it's not paste. And I probably won't take the teleporter. This this is this does have a, like a lot of potential. This this run does, even without paste. Um. Web gun. Okay. I actually don't even want to take that. I know people are like, let's make shit paste. <laughs> It's not, though. It's bad. Uh, let's just go. I don't need the money from the curse pot. Oh, you're not, you're not forgiving us. I don't think we're ever going to be forgiven. Oh, no. Alright, so here's what you do. Stop. That's, that's unfortunate. A power pack in there? We need to find somewhere to set this guy. And the problem is, you know, we, we kind of... Uh, we kind of have to go around. We can't really go over there. Because of the, the shopkeeper. I didn't see... I didn't see paste in there, but he may have had other stuff that I wanted. I just, you know, I panicked. Uh, it really sucks that we have to... find somewhere to put this guy when he is clearly... Oh gosh, let me get out of here. Spring shoes! Okay, we do want those. I really don't know where to put him. Like, down here? He'll probably go kill himself on the spikes. I hope not. I also don't want him to touch the curse pile, you know, or the skull. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't do anything with those spikes. Where did the shopkeeper go, though? Oh, no, no, no. Thank you, SpongeBob. Have a great day at work. Thank you for the lurk. Go over there to the right. Thank goodness. <laughs> He's trapped. Uh, and we didn't kill him. All right, uh, we gotta hurry. He's trapped in there, what an idiot. Um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I was afraid I'd crush him. You know, you never, you just never know. But, so hopefully the hired hand survives, because he, he may just, he honestly may just go kill himself on those spikes. Uh, my hope is that he does not, obviously. Also, we should've just thrown this with the pitcher's mitt, but that's all right. So the shopkeeper at the bottom, he actually should go down into the water, which pretty much makes him... I was gonna say makes him a non-threat, but he hasn't gone down there yet. Uh, okay. So I need you to carry this, and then just chill. Yeah, uh, I mean if he actually goes down into the water, it would be very helpful. Don't love hanging out here. There we go. All right. We're not even gonna worry about killing Humphead. Just double checking. That guy still has the, okay. Finally forgiven. Nightmare. Uh. Okay, go to sleep. Can you can you reach over here from there? I really don't wanna. You know what? I really wanna kill this thing. Just trying to figure out a good. There we go. We gotta find somewhere to set the hired hand again. Cause we have to have him awake. He has to be carrying the. The thing. I don't even know what it's called. The clone gun. Okay. So we have to hurry too. Like, I really wish you get a clover on this level. You 
know what? I'm not a fan of this. Come on. Stop being a complete jerk. <laughs> Alright, you know what? That's fine. Uh, I really wish I had pace here. It would actually make this possible. You know what? What about down here? I don't think there's any way for him to get out of there. Yeah, that, that's perfect. Okay. Let's hurry and go back and get him. Let's have him carry the clone gun. Uh, so we don't have to make two trips, though. We gotta hurry. And I do see the altar. I'm gonna completely ignore it, because we don't have time. Gosh. Alright. Okay, he's got it. Uh, we don't have pace, though. Shoot. Okay. So since I don't have pace, I like to leave- I don't like to take Excalibur with me. Which slows this down a lot. And the reason I don't want to take Excalibur with me, uh, is because it kind of- it messes up where I want to place- gosh dang it. Alright, that's- that's good enough. We gotta hurry. <laughs> the bombs that I need to place, like, it, it becomes a problem. If he dies after this, I'm gonna be so upset. Like, if the ghost shows up before we get this taken care of, I will be very sad. Uh, there is something over there to the left, but I, I, I don't really want to take the time to check. Like, stop being jerks. Paste? No. That's fine. I don't think it works. I don't know, did they... I mean, I did it, I did it wrong, I guess. I, I have not done that wrong in a while, but... Man. And the Annie's gonna die. We have to like hustle so fast. Where's the exit? There it is. Just go. Well, I mean, we lost the Ankh, you know. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I mean, I totally care. But. There's just something so weird, because like I do it and it, it's like, I think it's just a hair off. And I don't know how I fix that in the future. Um, I really don't. I really have no idea. I could go back and rewatch it and see, you know, because I was so I was in a rush, you know, obviously, and because of that, I was, you know. Playing a little sloppily. Let's look for crates. Man, it... It does suck not getting paced. But... <clears throat> You know what's funny? It happens so... It doesn't happen nearly as frequently as it used to, I feel like. I feel like I used to never go to Volcana because I'm like, well, you never get pace going that way. But lately, I, I've gotten pace, like, probably, like, 7 out of 10 runs going to Volcana. Which is pretty good. Uh, and the runs that I, I haven't gotten, I usually am able to pull that skip off. So I, today, I just I screwed it up somehow. Ugh. <sighs> I think the last time I screwed up, it was... Well, I, I blamed it on this. I don't know if this is why. But I had Excalibur down there with me. Because I didn't want to have to go back up top and grab it. I just wanted to go to the exit as quickly as possible. And... Um, holding it, it like kind of makes it harder to see where your, your face is lined up. But anyway. That's why I left it behind this time. And it still didn't seem to matter. Ice caves suck. We're keeping this guy alive. I mean, they, oh, they don't really. Also, we have an altar here. What What is happening? Please, for the love of God, do not go in that hole. Um, oh, I did not see you. Okay. Okay. We have spike shoes already. We don't have the compass, but we don't really need the compass. Okay, we want to keep that altar intact. That's going to get rid of that guy. Don't know where he landed. Or if he blew up right away. He might have blown up right away. Kind of looked like it. Um, where 
He has Waddler. I, I would love if there was a shop here. It would make this run feel like a run again. Like, not just a, a lost cause. Okay, Waddler's up there. Uh, I'm just gonna use a bomb. And we can we can start building our HP back too. That's a, that's a good thing. Uh, okay, let's go get the clone gun really fast. Then we'll come back for the hired hand and kind of just set him closer down to the the ice caves entrance or the wet fur area entrance. We do want to go in, go in there and get the clover. I do want to get the ropes. I, I don't know, because things could still go wrong. They could still go terribly wrong. Uh, let's set him up here. We don't need the a mine to kill the Yeti Queen though, because we have spike shoes, like I said. And when I say things could go terribly wrong, I mean we might be not might not be able to end up, or we might not end up being able to get the clone gun to the sun challenge. Like, if it's not on the first level of the Sunken City, the, the Sun Challenge, that is. I hate when you don't break any of the blocks, you jerk. There you go. That, that helps a lot, actually. Okay. Alright. Uh, that skeleton's come to life. You know, I'd actually like to... Throw something at it? Never mind. Okay. So here's here's the play. Uh, we do want to make some sacrifices on this altar. Maybe not yetis, because they're not worth a ton. Uh, they're worth one favor per yeti. I feel like they were worth more in Spelunky HD, but I don't know that for sure. Uh... Honestly, we, we gotta get this guy to come with us through here. He he's so he glitches out so hard. I don't understand. Cause he's not going to sleep, you know. Okay. I don't want to whip him, but I'm going to. I hate the hired hands. <laughs> I hate him so much. Cause like, there, what is the reasoning for that? Like, he's not moving. He's broken. I feel like the AI sometimes is just—it just doesn't work, and it's so annoying. Uh, anyway, especially on the ice caves one and the humphead one. For whatever reason, like the ice caves one, I oftentimes find myself like unable to get him out of the out of the wet fur area, and then the humphead one, like he just. He doesn't stop swimming. He loves to swim. Uh, I mean, it's hard. You can't pick him up when he's swimming. And he won't follow me out of the water sometimes. It's just, it's a mess. Okay. There is no shop. Uh, it's, that's okay, though. We don't have a lot of time. 30 seconds. So hopefully we can get back up there quickly. It helps having the spring shoes here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. That didn't help. Uh, I don't know where that UFO came from. It must have come from the bottom. No, it was there. It was there, I remember, because that's why we didn't set the hired hand over on that side. We gotta go quickly. Look out. Eight seconds. We're good. Spelunky God, how's it going, man? You always die on, on Sun Challenge? What's your What's your strategy for the Sun Challenge? No, 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 you fool. Stop! Okay, we need to pick him up. Um, that the, the, the worst part about that is that UFO wasn't even that close to the entrance. And he still, like, somehow managed to lock onto it. I, I hate... I think... So, previously I proposed something with the... With the eggplant child. Maybe they shouldn't be completely docile. They shouldn't even attack enemies. I think that should change. You know what I think it should be? 
I don't think they should lock on to UFOs. I think UFOs they should try to avoid. Treat them as more like a trap than an enemy. Uh, dry. No... No bomb back whip. JJ, what's up? Uh, yeah, you're thinking you're in Spef's chat. Uh, but yeah, uh, back with. So you're, you're using no bombs. Like, are you doing that just to challenge yourself or just because you don't have bombs when you get there? It's going okay, JJ. Uh, we lost the Ankh on this run. This is like the first run where I've made it this far. I, I had a run earlier where I just, I restarted because I can't remember what happened, but it was just not very good. Um, but yeah, I lost the Ankh trying to do the Ankh save. I have no paste. <clears throat> so that kind of sucks, but other than that, it's going okay. Not bad at all. I'm still waiting on my, like, emotes. Uh, I was hoping they would be done by now, but not quite, it looks like. You just popped into some randoms game in Tabletop Simulator, a game you didn't know. You played for an hour and it was dope. That's awesome. What what game was it? And yep, you never got get paced, so you can't do it the easy way. So Spelunky God, there actually you can still do it. So instead of like throwing a paste bomb up to the like one of the corners, if you go up there and set just like set two bombs down like simultaneously, like really fast, um, it'll still destroy that. Like, on top of the, the regen blocks, it'll still destroy the the spawner, the enemy spawner up there. And basically a tavern simulator where you beat people up, make them drunk and all that. Dragons in something something. That sounds awesome. Okay, so simple clay eye. Simple. Simple clay eye. There it is. Let's get in here really fast. Okay, I don't like leaving him alive, or uh, you know, when there are enemies nearby, leaving him, I guess, to sleep. Because he'll wake up if the enemies get too close, and then he'll go kill them, and then maybe kill himself in the process too, so. That being said, we just want to get out of here. Oh no. Um, okay. There we go. That's for the best. See, I don't know, like, he, he locks on to anything. In Neo Babylon, he just does not know how to, uh, gosh dang, okay, we're good. <laughs> he doesn't know how to sit still. He sees the gold, he wants to get the gold, and then, you know, he gets close and he sees an enemy. Pots, same thing. Um, maybe don't make him, make him so he's not so, like hyper uh, at the start of each level, especially at least after he's fully tra fully tamed, fully trained, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Really don't want these enemies to be over here. We shouldn't spend too much time on this level, but uh, just in case, I'm gonna bring that guy over here. I do have, like, I'm back to 20 plus HP, which is very, very good. Um, I kind of miss getting Uba. So maybe I'll go jungle at some point soon. We'll see. I'm actually gonna set that there. Come on. That was so close to hitting me. All right. <clears throat> I hear Percy down there. It's a bit of a bit of a nightmare. I honestly, I probably won't come back up there. 
Oh wait, we don't even want to come this way. What am I doing? It's all right. Uh, let's. We gotta come through here. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Uh, we're just gonna go. Why do I need hired hand? I don't- I probably don't need him. It's only if the sun challenge isn't on the first level of the sunken city. Which hasn't- I don't think it's happened to me in a long time. Where that's the case. But if it does happen, then I want to have him carry the clone gun for me, so I can carry the bow. Uh... Okay, we have spring shoes, so we can make it over that pretty easily. Not that we couldn't anyway, but... And yesterday we had like a run where we got to like 743 and we had the jetpack. And that was actually a pretty decent run, uh, all things considered, because I got poisoned fairly early on. And I found a mummy. Uh, like when I was relatively close to losing all my HP. And I, I farmed back up to like 60 HP or so. And then I, I still like survived long enough to where I was, I think I was down to like less than 10 HP. And then I, I died to something other than poison, but... I would have died soon anyway. And then I, I had the onk, luckily. Okay, so this is what I was waiting for. Like, so... I didn't want to turn off links, because I know people like to... post, like, uh, clips and stuff in chat. The problem is they use, like... all these weird symbols. And I know I can, like, uh, ban, like... people spamming symbols as well. I could do that. What if I just, like... I heard people like do bigfalls.com in like their list of excluded things. Uh, yeah, they're a scammer. And like, I'm gonna ban them, but there are a million of them. Like they're just a bunch of bots. But anyway, I still don't really know how, like the best way to deal with that. And uh, the sun challenge is here by the way, so. Hired hand we don't need, oh gosh. He's poisoned, which is actually good. Um, cause he'll die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. Don't I want to become famous with all these symbols? Uh, let's, let's kill him. But yeah, Splunky Odd, or you could just bring Excalibur here. That helps a lot too. So many witch doctors. I almost got cursed there. That was insane. All right, we're alive. I really hate when uh, it spawns witch doctors or vampires right off the bat. Almost anything. Like I mean, these, these all these enemies are like you know the harder enemies in the game. Vampires aren't really that hard. It's just that they drop the cape, which is pretty bad when it's near the force field like that. They use all those symbols so Twitch security can't detect them. Yeah, it, like, it makes it harder to, uh, or, yeah, harder for, like, me and, you know, other streamers to, to stop them, basically. Okay. I feel like I had a ton of ropes before we even did that. I, I didn't see how many ropes I had, but bombs only had, like, uh, nine or something, so... And I'm glad that that was an early sun challenge and an early waddler too. That makes it so nice when you can just focus on getting to the exit uh, and you have plenty of time. We have a minute, so. I'm not gonna worry about that egg sack. Actually, there's a shop here. It's unfortunate, uh, nothing in there we want. Well, we, we actually, we want Percy. Also, it's been a while since I've gotten the, the HP from the Eggplant Mother, because I haven't had it in a lot of time. I had 31 ropes before. Yeah. So we wrote, we probably didn't need, you know, 99 ropes necessarily. Uh, I do like to have, you know, a ton of them, but we would have gotten six more here too. Okay. 
Was there an altar? I don't remember. Now there's an altar. We didn't really get any of that blood, I don't think. We lost some HP. You know, that's fine. Alright. There we go. Um, honestly, you know what I want to do here? Well, we can... Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Well, not that. Now we're down to 9 HP. Or 19 HP. That's not bad. It was it was a good... It was a good effort. <laughs> it wasn't really... <laughs> it's really bad. Uh, but, you know, that's why I had all this HP in the first place. Just in case I did something stupid like that. <laughs> well, we'll come in here. Maybe there's a crate with some paste. Wait, wait, wait. What, what's, the, what's the one up there have for us? I don't see anything. Back to 21. There's a crate. Um, I'd love to get Percy onto the altar. Spike shoes, we already have those. Where, where was Percy? He's always oh, clear up here, right? Uh, we probably won't get him on the altar then. Honestly, I probably won't even get him. I don't really want to go through that... The water and the... The regen blocks. Uh, we'll just... We'll be extra careful in the future. Uh, shoot. Okay. This is nice. Give me two egg sacks in a row like that. 100%. We'll do that. Cool. Gonna use a rope here. I mean, you know. I don't think we're gonna get paced. <clears throat> Maybe at all, but like, certainly not by the end of... Uh... Or by the time we get to Cosmic Ocean. We could always get it, get it in a crate there. I, I feel like I, it's so rare to get it. Uh, I see the climbing gloves a ton in Cosmic Ocean crates. You know what, there could be a secret shop. I was looking at that and thinking, there's there's not gonna be anything good, good in here, but yeah, and there's not. But you never know. Oh gosh. Alright, alright, right, 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 right. I'm gonna leave the bow here for a second. I'm gonna wait till these blocks regenerate. Like, go ahead and hit me. Like, it's fine. <laughs> I just really want these enemies to be gone so I can come up here without dropping the bow. Uh, alright. Got another crate there. Um... Okay, so I think, I think we can actually get it. Without cooking a bomb is what I was gonna say. Uh, that's fine. Uh, <clears throat> back to 99 ropes. And I will take Percy through with me. Not a fan of this. Like, screw off. I <laughs> Come on. Uh, what a nightmare. I mean, we didn't lose much HP. I don't think those things can do anything to you other than just like, you know, basic damage. I don't think they, they can't like instant kill you as far as I know. Maybe they have an attack that I don't know about that's like very deadly. But it even says in like the journal entry that they're not that dangerous. I actually don't remember what it says specifically. But it says something. Titanic proportions, it looks threatening, but seems rather uninterested in us. 
So yeah, it, it, I think it's more like it looks threatening, but you know what? Who cares? Look out. Uh... The way I've been seeing, like, Groot kill, uh, Hundun, like, it has me intrigued. Like, I want to do it that way at some point. I'll use a rope there. Uh, but right now, I'm comfortable just doing it the way I've been doing it. Although, you know, one thing I will say... I don't have pace right now. And it would maybe be... It would maybe be good to use my spike shoes. So I should have I should have maybe done it. Cause now by now the bolt heads have spawned. And it's not safe to, to do it. As far as I know, it's not safe to do it right now. But Um we could also use the arrow. I have used that before. It takes like three or four hits, I think. I really hate water physics. We missed. It sucks when you don't have paste. Uh. I'm just gonna go through here. Hopefully there are no poison arrows. And I do take way too much damage doing this, by the way. Go, go enjoy your food, JJ. Have a have a great day. Okay, let's let's wait. Yeah, I take way too much damage. Uh, if I had paste, it wouldn't be so bad, but I would still take damage. Okay. Honestly. I was gonna use my spike shoes, but we don't have the yonk, so... Okay, that's more damage taken. We don't have the yonk, so if we, like, I mean, I wouldn't want to die anyway, like, even if we had the yonk. But yeah, 25 HP, that's, that's not great, but it's, it's also, it's serviceable. It's serviceable for sure. Let's go. C.O. Pog. How's it going, Oats? Alright. Getting a Volcana early on is actually pretty nice. When you don't have the jetpack, at least. <laughs> I want to kill this caveman. We know the uh, exit is bottom right. Come on. Okay. Oh my gosh, just jump on it. We know there's another orb to the, uh, the right over there, and that, that's probably the one we'll save for last, because it's... It's relatively close to the side of the... Oh, and there's the... There's this one, the last one that we can... I think I'm just gonna use a rope on this one. Well, no, we can't, because the block is there. Just do that, that's fine, okay. Let's hurry and loop. Honestly, I wanna get rid of this robot. Too bad no onk. Yeah, it sucks. But you know, I'm still gonna see how far I can get. I like ideally, like you know, JJ was saying yesterday that he got to like he got pretty far before he lost the onk when he got to 7.99. So ideally, I'd like to just never have to use the onk. You know, that would be that would be the, the great 
Uh, that'd be the best way to do things, for sure. That's a good one to save for last. So we'll do that. Um, yikes. And we do want to collect blood, so let's go kill this spider. I don't know if there's anything behind this banner. No. Oh gosh. I don't know. It was set off. I, I, I didn't know for sure though. It's kind of risky. It, 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 you know, it makes sense that it would have been. I think usually when you set one off on the side, it'll set all of them off eventually, but not always. You can beat it without on for sure. Just nice to have the backup. Yeah. Especially where I, I make a lot of really bad, like, like not bad, but like stupid mistakes. Bad, well, they are bad mistakes too, but like, specifically they're very stupid. <laughs> And so it's it's nice to have that, you know, that bit of extra. Uh, protection, I guess. Insurance. I don't know if I've seen any other orbs. Oh, I hadn't. There they are. Uh,. You're not coming back to life. I want to use skulls here if I can. Or a skull, I should say. Uh, I think we're good to go. 31 HP, we're, do we're doing okay on, on health. I'm just gonna loop, or no I'm not. Yikes. But by, by stupid mistakes, this is what I'm talking about. Um, I backed out of my original plan. And I almost got killed because of it. But we're, we're alive. Jungle. So we've gotten like some relatively... Well, I, I really don't like jungle. For the most part. It can be easy. I think a l most, most levels can be easy, right? Like... Oh, yikes. Get off my head. Okay, that was the second one. Uh, the boomerang is falling, which is pretty bad. We need to find the exit. That's bottom right? Is it all the way at the bottom? Yeah, okay, perfect. Bottom right. Where is this boomerang, though? Hopefully it lands up top. Oh, okay! I mean, we can get another boomerang. I'm just worried that it'll hit us. If we try to loop. Oh, come on. There it is. Okay, that should make it go. We gotta get rid of this monkey. Uh, okay, here's what you do. Oh, the caveman was alive. Now he's dead. All right, we got a crate down here. Parachute, it's not paste. I think we can loop now. I think we're safe to do that, but I'm kind of worried. That being said, we do want to loop, because we have a... Gosh dang it. Monkeys. Uh... Although that's pretty spooky. The witch doctor and the... Get off my back. Alright. You know, I'll use the rope there. The witch doctor and the tiki man. The tiki man is actually even scarier than the witch doctor in that situation, because... Well, no, not really. Actually, not really. They're both scary. Because the, the witch doctor locks onto me and like gets me to fall. Where are you coming from? Okay. Anyway, it does not matter. We're at the exit. But yeah, if the witch doctor was to like lock onto me and you know hex me or whatever, and then I fell into the abyss, which I was like would have likely done in that situation, pretty pretty much ruined the run. Oh, there's the exit. All right, so that would have been a good one to save for last, but. There could be something at this exit. Oh no, there's not. Uh, we do want that back though. But if there had been, we would have been in trouble there. 
Wait till the skull goes to that side. Alright, monkeys are bad. I mean, they're not terrible, but they're they're annoying. They usually cause me to use a rope. Okay, where do they fall to? Okay. Stop! Okay, you know what? It's fine. Um... <laughs> Falling shield is not fine. Another falling shield is even worse. Yep, there it is. Please land up top or somewhere. Thank you. Gosh dang. Where are these orbs? Bat. They've got to be bottom, like in the center there. Yep, there's one. Uh, I'm gonna use some ropes here. There's the other. What a nightmare. I think we have to use a bomb to get in there anyway. Uh, let's do it like the. Oh, I don't have paste. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, never mind. Uh, well, we can just do that. Should have done that in the first place. Yikes. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that crate. Even though it could be paste. Okay. Oh wait, I, I remember where it is. I remember. Now that's the entrance. It was, it was, it's on the, the right side of the level, but it's a uh, Look out for that. But it's like one layer down. Okay. Huh. This is interesting. I would love to farm some blood. But I don't think it's necessary. I'm more worried about the... Uh, the crush traps here. Goes the mummy. That's that that works. That works. Oh come on. There goes the boomerang. Come on. <laughs> okay. Uh I kinda want that back, but at the same time I don't think I'm gonna worry about it. There's the mummy. We could actually farm blood very easily, and we know where the exit is, we know like everything is is clear to us. No! <laughs> 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 At least we're safe. Uh, but that was super spooky. Alright, no no blood farming. <laughs> oh my god. Don't don't kill me. Uh we got some crates here, that'd be great if we got paste. Right. Uh, ooh, look out. I love that. The arrow didn't, like, do anything else. It just, the boomerang uh, stopped it. Oh, come on. I think I was, oh, it's because I was holding right and there's a push block there, so instead of, like, normally if you're holding right, like, you can just still whip, but push block always has... Precedence. Okay, so exit was bottom left, I think. Maybe not bottom left. Oh, wait, we gotta be careful here. Arrow traps. Look out. Yeah, very careful looping. When you haven't already cleared out the arrow traps. Get in there. Cool. Yeah, so bottom left. We gotta find the final orb still. Okay, I hate having the climbing gloves there. You know what? This is this is an interesting situation. 
rather use a rope there on that. Yep, yeah, there's the arrow. <laughs> Please land. I think it landed. I think we're good. Uh. Anyway. Mighty spooky. There's the final orb. Really want to get these uh these crates. Even if they're just bombs and or ropes, like as that one was just ropes. Uh it's still it's still worth getting them. Uh so bottom right. I could go get it with the I might as well. Just worried that something's gonna bump me while I'm doing this. Any arrow traps on this side? So we got bottom right and then bottom left for the exit. I'm assuming this, all these arrow traps have been set off on the sides. Especially the ones that we know we've set off. Hate that mole. But was it not bottom right? Where? Oh, it was like more center. Okay. Oh God. Okay, we're good. Oh no, we're not good. I should have just gone to the exit. Uh, we're good. We're good. For some reason, I was thinking that looks like the the entrance, not the exit. <sighs> What a nightmare. Uh, give me your blood. Huh. It's kind of an interesting exit here. And honestly, I'd like to make it a little bit Safer, if you will. But we'll uh, we'll figure that out. Although we can, no, that's that that's definitely not safe. Okay, so yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of all these, or at least some of these uh, ice platforms, breakable ice, whatever you want to call it. Okay, that's probably good. Cause that way we can just drop through here to get to the exit instead of having to do anything else. Uh, okay, careful. Nice. Oh, you're, you're there. I was like, where did that, what was that? I know it was a UFO, but I was like, I don't know where it came from. All right, so we gotta find the other two orbs. I think it's two. There's one. There, there they both are. Look out. Okay, that's what I thought. Nice. Yeah, alien compass would be so nice. I can have, like, cause like, you know, at the end, you know, when you're trying to find the exit, sometimes you just, it gets in your head. Oh boy. So this UFO is, is actually very nasty. Like, any time a UFO is hanging out near the void, or near lava, it's bad, but this one's hanging out near both. Uh, so we, get, we gotta get rid of it, even if it means doing something like that. Luckily, <clears throat> luckily none of the lava is, you know, dripping now, it's just, it opened up the, the lava pit, but that's, that's okay. There's the exit, there's another orb. Yeah, 
You know what? Can you get rid of the force field for me? Thank you. Not a huge fan of those. Those all mites. And honestly, we should just get rid of them. Just trying to think of the best way to do it. Don't really want to throw a bomb over there. Because I think it'll just bounce back. Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing we didn't have pace there. Although pace, no pace makes him stick, right? I don't know. It should. But then I'm like, does it work like force fields where it just still bounces off of it? Off of the... Anyway. Let's find the final orb really fast. And hopefully just time it properly so we don't have to deal with the... So we don't have to deal with the old mines. Although there may be a good way to handle that. That I'm just not thinking of. Where was the where was the exit? How did I Oh, it's right there. Okay. I think handling it right here is the way to do it. Something like that. Okay, that spark trap freaks me out. Again, pace would be so nice. But, you know, we don't have it, so there's no reason to to be too upset. To get to it for free. Parachute. Um. Man, I really, really hope that we get something better out of you know crates in the future. I think pace is like the only thing we don't have. Though. Nice. the final orb. No, do not destroy. Okay, we're good, we're good. I almost jumped on that falling platform and that would have destroyed the orb. Get out of here. We don't know where the exit is yet, so I gotta, you know, find that really fast. Okay, so we're bottom right. Look out. I'm worried about that magma pot, wherever it, it ends up. Uh, that exit kind of sucks. Because of the fire bugs and the spike ball trap, but I think I think it's relatively safe. We'll, we'll find out. Crate, but that's, that's all right. Uh, Jimmy, how's it going, man? What, what's what's happening? It's going okay for me. Uh, had a really good stream yesterday. Got raided by Notorious BLT, and then he gifted like 20 subs, which is pretty cool, and not expected at all. Um, got to like. 743. I think that was the furthest I got yesterday. So it wasn't, you know, great, like, as far as progress goes, but it was still, still decent. Oh boy, that scared the crap out of me. I don't know what else is flying here, but. Is this number three? Did I destroy two already? I think I destroyed one, but, uh. Just to be. Extra. Diligent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, explore here. Uh, UFO, go away. Okay. 
Look out. Okay. He's still gonna keep hitting these bodies. I think, no, I think it's good. Oh, gosh. All right. We'll come up this way. This is where we started. I don't think we came over here to, oh, that's, that's where the exit is. No, you gotta stop. This UFO's gotta be stopped. Uh, and I think the way we do it, honestly, as weird as it might seem, we need, well, no, that's gonna be bad. That's bad. No, it's not bad. Okay, we're good. You need to come out of there, though, Mr. UFO. <laughs> I don't like it being in there. All right, that, that's perfect. Okay, the exit needs to be cleared out. I'm gonna wait till this guy turns around. Do I have to come up with a bunch of emo oh, emotes now? I have two, so now I have two slots instead of just one. But I, when I commissioned uh, someone on Fiverr to do emotes, I like I commissioned six different emotes. So once they finish those, I will have enough. So I even have enough to do like you know my tier two and tier three emotes as well. Uh, if I decide to do that, I don't know. We'll see. I may actually commission someone else to do those. Um, make them a little bit more like make them unique. I think this is the last orb. Actually, you know, I want to approach it. No, no, gosh dang it. I want to approach it from this side. Look out! Okay, we're good. I was really hoping they would be done already, the emotes, but... Um... But only, that's just because my badges got done. I said it earlier, like, the badges were done pretty quickly, so I thought maybe the emotes would be too. Uh, it's the same, like, it's... Look out. Uh, it's the same... Like, I use the same... Artist? It's not even one artist. It's Kong Vector on Fiverr. I don't know. They, they had, like, a lot of good reviews, and I'm like... I said it yesterday on stream, but I kind of wish I had gone with someone, like... that I knew personally, which I, but I didn't know it, like, I didn't know anyone that did, uh, graphic design, but I found out a guillotine Danny that I've played co-op with a little bit, and have been hanging out on his stream a little bit, I found out he does graphic design, so I, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, I may commission him, I found out about, about a bunch of other people too, uh, just through various channels, oh gosh, um, there's, there's like, there's so many good artists, it's just, it's hard to, you know, because I, I want something that's like, more my style. I see a lot of people like, drawing like, anime and stuff, and that's not really, not really my style, but, uh, I don't think it's bad, I just, oh boy. I just want something that fits me more, you know, if that makes sense. Sixty-two HP. It's pretty decent. I think we're. Uh, where are you gonna go? You gotta get rid of that skeleton, cause it. Who knows where it's gonna end up? Uh, I think we're good to go to the exit though now. Anything there? No. Perfect. Stop. Stop. <laughs> okay. Alright. I really do not want to get poisoned when I don't have the onk. I mean, I don't want to get poisoned even if I have it, but... You know what? I kind of want to get rid of those. I just don't trust it. I don't know if I've destroyed any orbs yet. Again, I'm really bad at remembering. Nope, that was number one. Get out of here, dude. I hate, I hate when things go in the water because now I can't, uh, I can't use the boomerang. It's annoying. You know what? Actually, we can just leave you in the water. I can just whip you. That's fine. 
Um, the amount of time I spend doing things like that, it's pretty bad. Because we need to be looking for the orbs. That's like... It's definitely the most important thing. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. I should help. Oh, wait. There's something else falling over there. It's another one. It might be the same one, honestly. Uh. Come on. Stop. I almost got poisoned there, that was incredibly close. Uh, but having poison like be like keep getting shot up into the void is really bad. That's the final orb. It's gonna get destroyed by this guy. That's you know, that's fine. Well, you know it's not fine. We we don't want it to happen yet. We wanna clear out the This is a mess. Stop! Stop, 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 wake up. <laughs> okay. We still have 60 HP. We gotta hurry, though. I think we, we're we just gonna go to the top of the level, rather than loop. Because we have no idea what's going on over here in the void at this point. Uh, shoot. Where was the... Oh no, where was the exit? Why, why did I think it was over here? Oh, it's it's right there. Okay. That's why I thought it was over here, because it is. Um, we don't really need to farm for vomit, but I kind of want to. Uh, I'm gonna do... I want to get to like at least 70 HP, I guess. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Although, this is bad, like, having the locusts, we're gonna see some flying beneath us, I feel like, soon. Because I don't think they ever go away. Well, we might as well go up to 80. It gets relatively quick. I don't want to take too much time doing this, but yeah, this is actually very bad. Uh, I did not think this through. Look at that spread, too. Like, a couple of them have almost hit me in the head. 82. Oh gosh. The spread is actually good because it allows them to to break like that. Oh gosh, there's the mummy. Uh B Frig off. Top right is the exit. That's beautiful. This seems like a smaller temple level. Can I crush two in one? Hmm. I don't know that I want to do that, actually. But we'll, we'll give it a shot. Yeah, two for one. That skeleton is not coming to life. Okay. I saw an enemy over there. Did we kill that bee ever? I don't think we did. So he's gotta be careful. Nope, there it is. Okay, we gotta hide. An orb was destroyed there by something. Okay. That's the exit, that's actually, we'll save that orb for last. Uh, I hate the laser trap right there. We'll try to get rid of it. I don't care if I take some damage here. Okay, hurry and go away. Beautiful. Okay, so top right. Final orb, final, or final exit is what I was about to say. Careful with the UFOs. We got some drip with the lava. A lot of drip with the lava. That's bad. <laughs> it's very bad. Uh, I was gonna go over there too. Well, I think we'll just come in here and hopefully we can get over Hopefully we can make it over here without uh, dealing with that lava. 
That's so bad. No. Oh my god. Okay. What the f <laughs> What do I do? Oh my gosh, it's everywhere! Where's the orb? It's probably like hidden behind the lava. That'd be great. I don't know if that can actually happen, by the way. I don't know. If it might be like the exit where uh, the lava like will just dissipate. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. Uh, we can loop to the right. We, we, we might have to loop to the right. This is not where you do it. We are trapped. I don't even know what happened. Okay. There are UFOs galore here. It's it's here. Oh my god. Okay. I think it's going to be a non-issue. <sighs> Mighty spooky, though. Okay. Got the exit. Don't really know where in relation to the rest of the level it is. It's not close to the side, it looks like. Which I'm not a huge fan of. It doesn't seem to be close. It's like in the center. <laughs> it, at least that's the way it seems. So this is like one of those times the Alien Compass would be very good. Uh, there, there's, there's a way to handle this. I think it requires maybe using some ropes to uh, guide me, as crazy as this might seem. And I've saved, actually we can just save that orb for last. Just save that orb for last. We know, okay. Yeah, we know where that orb is. Beat the lava, Pog, that's right. The lava it didn't stand a chance, but it was very scary, so I respect it. Uh, that's where we started. Compass, we don't need that. Beautiful. Um, not a huge fan of this. Oh god, okay. Is it down a little bit further? Well, oh, there's the exit. Uh, it is relatively close to the right side of the level, I guess. Or to the right side of the... the edge. I don't know. Okay. Uh, are we top right? Is that what we're looking like? Yeah, top right. Rid of the imp. Okay. Just gotta find this last orb. I hate when there are imps flying <laughs> over the void like that. It's so bad. Don't loop is the is the solution there for me because I if I do I'll probably die. I don't want to come up here. You know what? You got me good, buddy. Look out! I know I said don't loop, and I'm not going to, but I am gonna come down. Okay, gotta be careful. All right. I am going to come down this way. For the crate. Was hoping for pace, but you know, but back to 92 bombs is pretty good, I guess. I haven't been using a ton of bombs. Even if I had paced, I wouldn't use a ton of bombs, most likely, but... Okay, I see that orb. But it is nice to have the option. Look out. Okay, heard an explosion, that could be really bad. Let me in. Okay. Need 
Neo Babylon. Let's let's look down here first, just to see if the exit's like close by. Oh god. Oh god. Alright. I don't see it anywhere nearby. But also like this orb. We'll get rid of that one really fast. Cause it's more you know, it's it, it's harder to get to, I guess. It's more in the center of the level. The other one's like at the side of the level, so even if we have to like loop or something, it, it probably is good to save that one for last. Potentially, potentially. Once we find the exit, there may be one right by it. Okay, careful with those explosions. Lava is a problem. We are at the side of the level. The map, whatever. Uh, let's... Let's see. Anything... Anything good happening over here? Oh no! <laughs> uh, the boomerang caused me... Since I jumped up, the boomerang hit the force field and I think set that in motion. Okay. I think we're good to go. I do want that crate. So I think before I, uh, break this final orb, we should just grab the crate really fast, just so I don't have to do it at the very end. Uh, when the jelly's chasing us. And I guarantee this jelly's coming from the left side. Yep. Oh gosh, I didn't see that. We're good, we're good. Good thing I didn't have the jetpack, that's true. Oh man, that is so true. And it's funny, because, you know, I, I, like, I keep saying that I'll, I'll take the jetpack pretty much every time I see it, uh, as long as we're, it's before, or any time in the dwelling. If we see it in the dwelling, I'll, I'll take it. Just because it allows us to do the chi -lin skip a little bit more easily. But, I probably shouldn't even take it then. You having a good time, buddy. Alright. Is that the final orb? Yeah, baby. Uh, anything hidden back here? Another Neo Babylon. Okay, orb got destroyed. Look out. Okay. I don't remember if I destroyed- I know that- I know an orb got destroyed when we started the level, but I think we also destroyed an orb? No, we didn't. Okay. I was like, I don't know. It's all happening so fast. Uh... It's bad? Wait till this, uh... Goes through again. The gold. Oh no. Croc man. <laughs> um, somebody kill that mummy cat. I might save that one for last. Until I accidentally jump on it. I need to get rid of that. I think the crockman, no, they did not all. They're still there somewhere. It's so hard to kill them in Cosmic Ocean if you don't have paste. Okay, the mummy cat's gotta go. It doesn't have to, like, we can just leave once we find the other two orbs, but man, those those croc men are gonna be a problem. For sure. But it's harder to telefrag them in the cosmic ocean as opposed to like because you don't have the walls, right? Oh no! How do you how do you find me? Just stop. Oh my god. Where are they? Yeah, it's so hard to tell Fragon without the solid walls on the sides of the level. Uh, okay. Get in here. Do one of those. I feel safe in here, <laughs> relatively speaking. Um, oh boy. Look out. 
think I think we just gotta go. Don't even care about the boomerang. Get me out of here. I could have if I waited like for just a second, I would have been able to get that. Cursed exit, yeah. <laughs> this is pretty bad. Uh, I do I do miss my boomerang already, but I've died before, like waiting for the boomerang to come back to me. <laughs> so I don't think it's I don't think it's the most important thing there. Okay. Ooh, all the orbs are here. I also got a lot of these, uh, assassins. Huh. Let's, let's kill this one first. Kind of don't love the idea of having to deal with these things when I go to the exit. Can they, can you guys come over here? No? Okay. You know what, that's fine. Look out. Okay, all the orbs are close by. Which means it's probably a smaller level. Not necessarily, but... Hey! Okay. Well, let's find the exit really fast. There's the exit. There is a, a Yeti. Oh, gosh. Okay. I think the Yeti hit the the UFO actually. Just fine. Um I think we'll just loop. Although I'm a little scared to do that. We don't need to loop. We can just well we can loop, but we don't need to loop left or or right. Okay, we gotta watch out for this Yeti down here. Oh my gosh. Alright. I'm gonna take care of you. Give me all that juicy blood. I have 80 HP though, so we don't really need. Nice. One. Yeah, we don't really need the extra HP, I guess is what I was about to say. At least not yet. Uh, if we get poisoned, you know, we definitely would want it, but... Can't jump on your head. But I also do not like you being so close to the, uh... The side of the level there. Okay, your crab claw did not... Uh... Go into the, the void. Good to know. Almost got poison there. Just gonna wait till it wakes up and then stomp it. Okay, I don't think I know where the final orb is yet. Uh, hopefully there's nothing in that pot. Uh, if there was, it would have been killed by the, the lion trap. So. Speaking of lion trap, you know, we have 90 bombs. Well, first of all, let's let's get that. Look out. Uh, another guy right next to the side of the level. But yeah, uh, 99 bombs. Let's let's get rid of the, the lion trap. Feels a lot safer. I want to get rid of this pang chi as well. Nice. Just gotta find the final orb. Could be down this way. Oh, there it is. I would not have seen that. Uh, can we get can we get out of here safely? Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. I hate when they're hidden like that. Yo, where are you coming from? Thank goodness. Don't remember where the exit is over here. Top, top, top left. And orb got destroyed. I 
really want to get rid of this UFO. No! Okay, we're good. Ugh. Honestly, if I would have died there, I, like, I mean, I, I would have survived the explosion, but if I would have ended up dying because of that, I would have deserved it 100%. Um, wouldn't come down over here. Gotta be really careful. I don't know if we destroyed an orb ourselves. We did not. Okay. Again, for whatever reason, at the start of a level, when something destroys an orb, an orb that's not me, I always feel like I've also destroyed an orb. Uh, that's the final orb. Where's the exit, though? We got some lava drippage. Come on. And I think the exit is down there to the right, is my guess. Could be down left. Would be nice. There it is. Um... My biggest concern here is honestly this spark trap. Without pace, I think we just can, we're gonna do it from from above. Get rid of it from above. And then the laser trap is is a concern as well. So I'll I'll get rid of that too. Apart from that, I think it's safe. I'm gonna use a rope right there, just so I know exactly where we are but also in case I have to grab it for some reason. This is mighty, mighty cursed. It's mighty cursed. Uh, here's what you do. That helps. Um, and I'm actually gonna get rid of that. This nonsense too. Oh my gosh! Lava, no! <sighs> okay. That was super close. I was worried the lava would start dripping and we'd just be screwed. Uh, so I was like, we have to hurry. But my god. <sighs> that was pretty spooky. Luckily the lava drips very slowly. Because, yeah, that would have been bad. That's, that's really good, getting a bomb box there. 95 HP, 95 bombs, 97 ropes still. So, yeah. Paste would be like the... I mean, having the Yonks still would be really good too, but like... Since we can't get that back, if we could at least get Paste, that would be incredible. Okay. Uh, we'll use this Skull to set off of this arrow trap. I'm just gonna wait it out for a second. We're not gonna like just stand still, but we're gonna, you know, we're not gonna go to the side of the level. Okay, I think I think we it should have landed by now. If not, then it's falling straight down. You do not gotta go into the abyss, the void, whatever you want to call it. Oh gosh, I didn't see that. Nope. Uh, use a rope there. Where is everything at? It's all gotta be like close together. Okay, there are two orbs. I don't know, remember, like, again, I don't remember if I destroyed one already. But I guess we'll find out here. Yep, that was number two, okay. Get out of here, you complete jerks. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, that arrow trap hadn't been set off. I don't really care. I'm not gonna, like, go anywhere. Weird, I'm just... I just wanna get rid of that spider just in case something funky happens, but I think we're... I think we're mostly good. Thank you. Okay, another Neo Babylon. We're getting a ton of Neo Babylon, which is, is fine. But we're also getting quite a few Neo Babylon where the lava is dripping. It's number one. Okay. We're gonna save this orb for last if we can. Um, I think the best way to do that maybe is to... Well, you know what? Let's get rid of that laser trap. Let's say, but to bomb our way down to the exit. But also a cobra right there freaks me out. 
We shouldn't even have to go in there, but let's uh Let's actually kill you know what careful Gotta look out for that Give me your body uh, I don't like being underneath the, the jelly like that, but we're, we're good You know what? We'll do one of those Look out Um, so the right side of the level is how we get to that, and it's just like a wall of lasers, force fields, whatever you want to call them. Gotta yeah, be careful at the top, because of the freaking elevators. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> We're good. What a nightmare. Neo Babylon, man. Can you not do this to me anymore? I think, I think we are genuinely good, though. Ice caves. Uh, look out. Kind of want to get rid of this noise. Is this rock going to make it all the way over to me? No, it hit something and fell. So we got to be careful of a falling rock. Potentially. It might have already landed by now, but... It's a good orb to save for last, because it's right near the exit. Um, alright. Careful with that one, it's right by the abyss. I think we are, uh, good to go. What is... Okay, it's magmar. and find the exit. There it is. There's the final orb. Um, hmm. Let's do something like that. We probably could have gotten in there for free, but I just think this is probably the better way to do it. I'd like to throw something at that. Okay, I've got to get rid of this M2 at that fire bug. It's gotta time it right, cause we don't wanna get, we don't wanna throw anything while it's doing the fire. Nonsense, okay. Look out. Skeleton's not coming to life. Checking over here for the... We've been seeing a lot of capes in the crust, by the way. I mean, I, that's, I think that's only our second one, but still. Uh, if we lost Vlad's cape, it would be nice to, you know, know we're gonna maybe have a chance to get a cape. Another cape. But anyway. Uh, I was just checking to see if the exit was close by before I destroyed that orb. The other two are over here. Okay. So let's... There's the exit. Okay, I was gonna say, let's look for the exit, but there it is. No UFOs or anything up here, please. Uh, honestly, I don't think this guy's gonna be a problem. But I'm still a little worried. Okay, careful. Now he's he shouldn't be a problem at all. I was worried he'd get blasted and somehow land on my head, but I didn't think that would be a problem. Okay. Nice. Look out. Okay, none of those guys are coming back to life. None of the skeletons. Which is good. Uh, 
Um, look out for flying bodies. Any of the, like the spikes, the ceiling spikes or the, oh gosh, look out. Okay, I think that might have destroyed an orb. I couldn't really tell, but it kind of sounded like it. But any of the ceiling spikes and the spring traps that we can get rid of, the better, I feel like. I know that may not be the smartest play. You suck, dude. Uh, I kind of, yeah, I kind of feel like, wait a minute, kind of feel like that did destroy an orb, but we didn't really check over here, did we? Kind of did, I, oh, I did, I did, that's where I destroyed that one orb, with the skull. Careful. This might be the last orb. It was. Careful, like yeah, I did I did that yesterday where I was looking down, uh, expecting the jelly to come from below, and it, it surprised me and came from the top and <laughs> it got me. All three orbs are in there, which is it's kind of nice. I don't need the blood, I don't know why I'm killing enemies that aren't uh, gonna cause problems for me. Okay, nothing behind there as far as I can tell. How do we get down without using any, any bombs? I do want this boomerang, so I'm gonna wait this out. Uh, man, we're so, cl so close to being back to 99 bombs and ropes, that's crazy. You know, I'm not really a huge fan of of that situation. Oh gosh, careful. We may have to use... I mean, it doesn't matter. We have so many resources. But I was say, we may have to use resources to get in here. But we do not. Uh, we do want to kill... Uh, some of these enemies. Not for the blood, but for... The ability to, you know, play it safe, basically. Oh gosh. Okay, let's, let's get rid of this monkey, too. And then we know we dropped a, a man trap to the top of the level. I think there was also a monkey somewhere. And I have no idea where that landed. Was there not? Did it? Maybe it landed on, like, the spear trap there or something like that. Maybe it landed at the exit. It did not. Uh, and you know what? Rather than go back down there, or but go back to the, the bottom of the level and get in there that way, I think we're just going to come through here. I forgot this isn't like Splunky HD. Or maybe they didn't do that in Splunky HD either. I thought like the more stuff you threw in there, the more likely it was to everything to like fall. I really just do not like that though. So here's what we do. That. Get it on the on the rebounds. Feels nice. I think this might be our first sunken city level, so we gotta watch out for poison arrow traps, obviously. Careful. Clear that out a little bit. Get out of here, dude. Uh That's a good one to save for last, because we can actually get over here. Relatively easily. Uh, although maybe this one's better. We'll, we'll see. Paste. Paste? <laughs> no, of course not. Um, that one actually is a not better. You know what? That, that sticky trap made me change my mind pretty quickly there. I, just, I do not want to deal with that. I'm just not a huge fan of this, uh, 
Well, one, this. Because if I come up through here accidentally, that's going to be pretty bad. But two, like, I, I, I don't know. It just feels, it feels a little bit, uh, tight. We're just gonna leave it behind. I see you there. That's a good one to save for last, it's literally right by the, uh, right by the exit. Get out of here. Okay, let's take a skull with us to maybe set off arrow traps with that are on the side of the level. Okay. Why? Why? You know what? Since we did that, back to 99 HP. I don't know why I'm destroying these uh, bone structures, by the way. All right. Relatively small level here, which is good. Uh, yeah. I do have a ton of resources. Honestly, part of it is because I don't have pace, so I'm not using too many bombs. But also, we haven't really had to use too many uh, in general. It's relatively safe. I hate when you spawn in Neo Babylon and there's a UFO right over your head. Uh, it, it happened to me yesterday, and there were actually like two UFOs, and it was like a chain reaction. One got hit by a laser trap instantly, and I died. But, uh, you know, that's Spelunky. Uh oh, okay, we're good. He just got spooked there. And made a, a terrible noise. Okay, careful here. I don't know what we're really, oh boy. I don't really know what we're looking for. Well, we're looking for the exit, but I don't really know the way we're uh, looking for it, I guess is what I meant to say. Like, I don't know if I have any. Is this the final orb? Well, I, man, I really wish I was better at keeping track of these things. I destroyed one. Oh, the exit's right there. Incredible. Uh, okay. So here's what you do. Get out of there. Alright, we're good. That's not quite good enough to get rid of the, the spark trap. That sucks. Careful. That'll do it, that'll do it. This is a nightmare. Uh, let's destroy this orb, wherever I left it. Uh, I don't think it's the last one, to be honest. It was, okay. <laughs> There's the exit. Got a couple of orbs over here. Got one of these guys. You know what? Get punched. Nice. Um. Yeah, two two orbs over here. Three or three orbs over here. Okay. I'm gonna throw something at that orb. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess around with the the horned lizard and the spikes and all that crap because it's it's bad. There's another crate over there though. Okay, uh, we have a little bit of time here. Let's yeah, let's definitely check this out because we are like pretty adamant about getting pace at some point. Honestly, like, I'm not surprised it hasn't shown up. I feel like if it doesn't show up on a run, by the time you get to the Cosmic Ocean, you're just not gonna see it. 
Because it feels like the, the game at that point is saying, you know what? This, this run was never meant to have paste, like, on it. Careful. Uh, that was not smart, because if there was an arrow trap over here waiting for me, knock me into the jellyfish, I'd be dead. Being said, there wasn't. <laughs> but speaking of arrow traps... How did I not set that one off up there? Maybe I- oh, I did. I did. It's been set off. Okay. Uh, it's interesting, but we're not gonna take it. Okay, we'll save that for last. And let's take a skull with us. Look out for the falling mole. Did it set off that one, do you think? That arrow trap down there? It did not. Okay, hide in here really fast. Oh wait, that was the one we wanted to save for last. For some reason, like, approaching it from a different angle, it just seemed like it was a different one. That's alright. Uh, we'll, we'll find a... We'll find the other one. Get out of here, dude. Uh, what do I want to do with you? Really did not want to whip you. I want to. Oh, here we go. Here's a rock. Gotta kill that thing. Where is this final orb? Another crate, though, could be very good. There it is. Um, so how do we want to do this? It, it is unfortunate that we destroyed that one last. Were there arrow traps that we didn't set off? Oh my gosh. Get, get out of here, dude. Okay. Another mole there, too? So it, it's showing up soon. I don't want to loop right now, but we have to go. Shoot. The jelly is coming. I remember where we are. <laughs> okay. Uh, dang mole. Hey, Katie, how's it going? How are you doing today? Will you land on the spikes? No. Monkey did, though. That is so close. Like, get this. I need this, uh, this man trap to die. It's gonna be the thing that kills me, and I'm gonna be pissed. All right. Uh... Man traps! Go away. <laughs> give me give me your boomerang. Where did it go? Right on the spikes. Uh, mosquito. Also could be a problem. I don't want to drop on its head when I'm trying to avoid dying on the spikes. You know what? You you see me, you see me, you see me. Thank you. I think we're good now. Just waking up? Sounds good. I'm doing pretty good myself. Uh, 741 in Cosmic Ocean. Feels pretty good. We, we haven't had the Ankh at all during this Cosmic Ocean run, so... You know. I'm scared, but I'm also pretty happy. Oh, gosh. Well, we didn't get cursed there. Or fall into the Abyss, which is good. We definitely need to get rid of those things. We gotta find the orbs. I don't really know if I've even destroyed any here, so that's pretty bad. That's that's typical for the jungle for me, though. Like, I just, I don't destroy any orbs. I spend so much time trying to clear out uh, nonsense enemies that I, yeah, I forget that there are orbs that we need to get rid of. 
Oh my god. Alright. If that's number one. There's two and three, okay. And then the exit was top left? Just, just help me out here. Was it top left? Was it... Yeah, okay. Uh, mosquito. Could be a problem. Oh my god, okay. Oh! I didn't hear it, I didn't hear it coming that time. Normally I'm like, it, it, like I can tell, you know, it's close, but that time I did not hear it. Oh, witch doctors are very scary. And thank you, yeah, it feels, it feels good. Like I said, very spooky, but... Okay, that, that's fine. I need to get rid of this guy, though. Well, I don't- actually, I don't need to. Because we can just go up the, uh, the vine here. Um, can I kill this? You know what, we'll use a bomb. Use a bomb. I was gonna throw things at it, like, non-stop, but yeah, I'd rather just do that. That skeleton looks like it's gonna come to life, it's hard to tell. Uh, so that's- that's actually a very bad... ...place for that to be. I don't like that. You know what? This is like a situation where I do want to throw as much stuff as I can at that enemy. I want you to die. Okay. Hopefully there's not a cobra or a scorpion in this pot, but there was not. Okay. Yeah, that skeleton's gonna come to life. Got rid of it. It's number one. Gotta find number two slash three. We already know where one of them is, but... Uh, careful. Do not push that block. Uh, we're gonna drop down, actually. I don't trust myself with those spikes. Yikes. Um, and we actually have to use two bombs here, potentially. We do well, no, we don't. We can go down into the spikes and do it. Die. Don't really want to, but we will. And honestly, okay. Even so, using two bombs wouldn't have been bad there. It just sucks to even have to use any resources to get the orbs, because, you know, you could soft lock yourself. Okay, let's hurry. We don't have a lot of time. Gotta make sure we find where we started this journey. Which is right here. Okay. Uh, slight bottom right of exit. Oh no. So, I don't like this. Uh, By this I mean the the spear trap. So we're not gonna go we're not gonna go back that way. Uh, that spear trap is actually very bad. Climbing gloves there are pretty bad too. We gotta go quickly because the jelly, both of them are here. Oh god. I need to take a drink of water. <laughs> No, no, you're fine, Katie. I appreciate that. The help. Uh, sorry, I didn't see it earlier, but look out. Okay, there's an orb. It's number one. Uh. Da -da -da. The exit. Nothing falling on my head, I hope. Careful with that robot. We don't want it to go into the lava. This is a, a not a great exit because of that. Uh, the robot's fine, but because of the firebug there. 
Uh, if I could find something to throw at it that's not the boomerang, because the boomerang's not going to go far enough. I really want to throw a pot. If there was a rock, that would be best. Because uh, the pot could have an enemy in it and just create another problem for us. We also still have to find the other orb. Which we did not fully explore over here. Nothing in there. You have a lot of pots. I might have walked right by a rock, but I, I don't... I don't know. Uh, that sucks. We got another magmar. Pot. Willing enemy. <laughs> An imp. That's what they're called. Uh, flying across the, the void. I think we just throw a pot at it. Just gotta wait till it's like right in position and not shooting flames out of its side. Okay, that, that was good. Just hang out. Nice. Okay, Necromancer is kind of rough. It's a good exit though, well, for the most part, because there's an orb right by it, but we also have to be careful of the the Cobra. Nice shot, kid. Bottom right. Uh, I'd love to get rid of that Necromancer. Okay, that was that was bad. There's another Necromancer. For some reason in my head, I'm like, if we do this, like, gliding down onto the, the Croc Man, it's gonna kill it, because it's, you know, we're doing 99 damage. It did not kill it. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have just avoided it. You got poison. Where are you? Where are you at? Okay. I'm gonna use a rope here. And then let's go back to the bottom right of the level. We gotta watch out for that croc man, though. Although, maybe he teleported and died, because I haven't seen him. No. I don't know where he went, uh, to be honest, but... I, I really don't know. It doesn't matter, we're out. Let's push this block, just so in case we need to go through there like really fast at some point. That's one. Two and three are down here too, oh gosh. Um, I don't like that arrow trap because it, it's going to knock me on the spikes if I drop down there. Not that I needed to drop down there, but you, you never know. Uh, da -da -da -da. Interesting. We do want to set this, this uh, arrow trap off. Or as I've been calling them, arrow trops. <laughs> I don't know why. I just can't speak. Uh, okay. I think we're just gonna destroy this orb. Or is this the third one? Oh wait, no. We had both that we had destroyed, okay. Yeah, we'll just destroy one of them and uh, try to find the exit. So bottom left is the, the final orb. Uh, this arrow trap has the same, kind of a similar situation as the last one that we got rid of. It, it's not as bad, because I think we might not have hit the, uh, or landed on the spikes if we got hit by it, but it'd be close, I think. Okay, get rid of that arrow trap. I kind of like clearing out enemies. Oh, I was holding the arrow, not the boomerang. I was like, what just happened? That freaked me out. Okay, that's not good, by the way. Cause I don't know what that what's gonna happen with that uh, with that arrow. Okay, we gotta come down this way, and then just push this block. That's the exit. Huh. 
You know, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of any of this, this stuff. I'm gonna use bombs, whatever I have to use. But also, that arrow trap right there, like, if we decide to loop for whatever reason, which we, we you know, we won't. We'll just... We might. Gosh dang it. Okay. We won't, we won't, we don't need a loop. I was looking at the time and I was like, if we spend the time to destroy everything here, it, we might have to deal with, uh... The baddies. Um, the, the second jelly, whatever it's called. Good job, thank you, thank you. Top right is the uh, exit. We don't know where any orbs are yet. I do want to kill this this mummy cat. Honestly, mummy cats at this side of the level are probably just as bad, if not worse, than arrow traps at the side of the level. Because if you're looping, um, and you set one off, it can just it can surprise you later and curse you and ruin your run. But although arrow traps, if you get hit by an arrow trap on the side of the level, you might just die. <laughs> So even if you have 99 HP, it'll stun you and then you might just take fall damage from it and be dead. Okay. It's number one. This is number two. And I don't like how it's trapped in here like this, so we're gonna get rid of it. And hope number three is like closer to the side of the level. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of this. Is that spinning off the edge there? Yes. Alright, you know what? This is why you have a bunch of throwables here and actually I don't know why I'm getting rid of all these pots but I want to get rid of this uh, crush trap look out there's a spider in that sand oh no <laughs> okay <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was gonna do anything Oh lord. Oh no! <laughs> okay. We're good, we're good. Good god. Like, okay, here's the here's the orb. Stop. We are going to loop here. So we got to be careful cuz there was a there was a spider. Did we I think we killed that spider. Okay, I was waiting for that to happen. Where are you coming from? I hear you. Uh, top right. Anything going on in there? Nope. We're good to go. Okay. High pool is still kind of spooky because of the poison potential. So hopefully we can get this, not to destroy the orbs, but to die. But you know what, that's fine. Um, honestly, I want to get rid of this body. Be careful with the, the orb. You're not coming to life. That's, that's a... I don't know why, but bombs feel so weak now. Like, they really, like, when I drop them, they, they don't roll as far as they used to, I think. Which is not a bad thing in most cases, but in that in that scenario, I'm like, I wanted this to roll further. But that's alright. Uh, crate. Please don't be a hermit crab. Falling skeleton is really bad, too. Oh, no. Look out. Okay, it's not a very wide level. Where's that skeleton at? This is the second to last orb, so we gotta... We just gotta get back to the exit. Just worried about that skeleton. Oh, okay! Uh, it honestly is not that big of a deal. But I'm still gonna get rid of it. Shula, what's going on? How, how are you doing today? Okay. That's helpful. Nice.
Get out of here, dude. Um. I did not like those mummy cats, even though I'm not even going that way. Like, <laughs> oh, B. Stop, stop spawning enemies. I need to just deal with these ones you spawn, and I'm gonna leave you alone. Oh, come on. That's alright. Poison Central. Look out. Hmm, I really want that crate. But I don't want to trigger the, the crush trap there. More compasses. No paste. No paste at all. Like, ever. <laughs> uh, look out for that enemy in there. That's pretty bad, actually. I think I could drop a bomb in there. We're gonna, we're gonna kill that mummy cat. Um, the drip there is, is real. Where's the mummy cat? There's the mummy cat. Huh. I thought I'd have a better way to handle that, but I, I really don't have a good way to do so. Get freak out of here, okay. I don't know where any of the stuff is. Gosh dang it. All right. Uh, we got Croc Man in there. Look out. He he survived, I think. I, I hate this spider, but I also hate the crush trap. Everything's terrible here. We have a, we have like a minute left. Okay, I mean I think that's the first orb we've seen too. Uh, temple levels just are god awful. Large temple levels can absolutely bite me. Okay. I don't actually know if this is the first one we've seen, but there it is. I just had to check. I see one down here. We gotta go. We have not a lot of time left. Get the hell out of here, dude. Stop. Bees. Bees are the worst. <laughs> I can't hit them. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left. It's pretty bad, to be honest. Look out. Oh my god. Okay. We're alive. The jelly's here. Where is the final orb? Um, honestly, we need to know. Even if it means, like, just running around like crazy here. Oh my god. Okay. We need to know where it is. We gotta explore places we have not explored. No! Okay. We're good, we're good. It's gotta be down here somewhere. Look out. So here's what here's what we do. Uh we're gonna toss some ropes up. We gotta watch out for that drip. It's pretty bad. I don't know where it's dripping to though, I for, I've already forgotten. There it is. Okay. Um I don't mind using all these ropes. We just need to find this orb and get the fuck out of here. Oh god. I want you to... Thank you, thank you. That's better. I have no idea if it's over here, by the way. I just... I have a feeling, because I don't think we've explored over here very much. But I'm gonna move slowly. Like, I don't care if this takes us ten minutes. Uh... These marathon temple levels. I hate them. This is where we started. After all that, this is where we started. So I think we need to go to the left then. Because I, after destroying those mummy cats, I just... I didn't go to the left. Although, did we even look up? It'd be a nightmare. Oh my god. Look at all these crushed traps. Not bees. Like, anything but bees. Not, not spiders either. Uh, so here's... Here's what you do, you just jump into it. <laughs> oh god, jelly sandwich. I deserve that. 
I panicked. I panicked. Oh, frick, dude. Okay. What, what time are we at? That was two hours and 30 minutes. Oh, God. All right, we're going back. Losing the Ankh, though, like in the way we did, and never getting paced is pretty rough. So the fact that we survived that long, I feel pretty, pretty good about it. Yeah, fuck the jelly for sure. I know you're like, I'm, I'm gonna give you, since you're, you said you're lurking. All right. Probably on mute so you can't hear me, so I, I will, I will correspond with you that way, Shula. Uh. <laughs> it is that is my fault because I took so long there, but also I have no idea where the final orb was. I never, I don't think I ever saw it. Uh, and s s you know we'll use a rope. I'm not gonna restart the run because honestly this could be a great run. We could get like we could get paced. <laughs> That's like all I want is paste. Everything else about that run was fantastic, by the way. Well, the, losing the Ankh and the pace, those are the two big things. But we lost the Ankh because we didn't have pace. We had to try the skip. Uh, the way that I suck at doing the skip. The save, the Ankh save. I don't usually suck at it, though. That's the thing that's, that eats me up, though. I usually do pretty good. And I'm relatively consistent. Uh, let's not worry about that crate. I'm not ever gonna count on getting paced from a crate again. <laughs> Cause we got, you know, like probably a good 20 crates in the Cosmic Ocean and just never showed up. So I I'm assuming uh, that seed was just like, it was created by Derek and it was a, a no paced seed. Also, I, I think I just said created instead of created. Also, Come, come back over here. I want to get over here. I don't know why. Paste. You jerk! <laughs> uh, paste. Paste, 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 paste. Go away. Get out of here, dude. Uh, we can afford not all of this. Did I set that off? So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna rob this guy. I want everything. Uh, I want it all. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. We gotta get the key though, okay. I mean, the, I was looking, that's what I was looking for. I, we gotta make sure we get the, uh, the Ujedi really fast. Um, at least explore thoroughly. What do we have going on up there? I didn't see an altar anywhere. My brain is ish fried after that run. You know, I, I was I was watching Groom for like, you know, a couple hours last night, and man, he's like, you know, he speed runs. So like by the time he gets it takes him like, you know, ten minutes. I don't know if it's ten minutes, but like he he gets to the cosmic ocean a lot faster than me. That's for sure. Um Taking the shotgun so you can't shoot me on my way out. Not that it would have mattered. You know what? We don't need the shotgun. If this was like, if we were in like Tide Pool or you know the Temple, especially the Temple, uh, right now, I would I would love to have the shotgun to protect me against the the baddies. But here, I really don't want to kill anything. Uh, that's not true. I do like I do want to kill things, but I got to be careful we don't kill anything when there could be uh, an altar around. So I'm just gonna leave the shotgun there. Damn, okay. We don't wanna, I mean we do, we want the turkey, but we really don't wanna have to use a bomb to get it out of there. But I think we have to use a bomb to get to Yang anyway. Can we do, you know what? We might be able to just rob Yang. We cannot, but he has a crate in there. That's good to know. Uh. Well, let's tame the turkey while we're in here. I'm trying to think. We don't have a ton of ropes. Did we not just buy ropes? Or get ropes from the, the last shop? 
Did I have I already used three ropes on this run, or did I just not pick the ropes up? That's a possibility somehow that may have happened. Uh, I don't know. I definitely oh I've used the ropes. I've definitely used the ropes on this run because I had to use one to get the key, and then I think I used I had to have used two. Apart from that, I don't know. I don't know when I used them. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I panicked there because I did not mean to drop down there with the turkey and once the turkey was dead I just I didn't know what I was doing so I jumped uh, Complete panic And we had paste it's the worst part, but you know what I Had I, I robbed the shopkeeper and that was looking like a pretty nasty uh, situation to get out of So I think I think it's for the best it would have been nice to get those bombs though, but I don't think they would have survived because the shot people would have blown up the power pack and then blown up the bombs at the same time. But anyway. Uh, also Yang was just in a terrible place, and I really do like to get Yang. I think he's a he's a good he's not a good dude. He's a bad dude, but he's a bad dude that can be helpful in Volcana. Um, okay, what? Well, give me two rubies, or just a bunch of baby gems that are worth nothing. <laughs> um, I don't need the. I don't need a lot of money, but like, I would like to. I would have liked to have, you know, more on the last run, like. At least 20,000, so we could have just bought stuff and not had to worry about exploring to find more cash, but. It's time if we come across a shop like that, I'm just gonna pay for the paste. Uh, we got turkey floor, and we've got an altar. Is this a large floor? I wish there was a way to, like, see if you had, like, a. After you already, like, missed the initial. Uh, like, the start of the floor. And you, you can't like I wish you could see if it was a a large level retroactively. Cause I think it is a large level. Which sucks. Uh so you can still use this as like climbing gloves, but it sucks pretty bad. Uh that being said, <laughs> it's gonna allow us to save a rope there, so I'll I'll take it for that. But this this floor sucks, honestly. Because it's good, I mean, it's, it doesn't, because it's there's a lot to do. There's so much to, you know, to accomplish. But it sucks because we're not going to be able to get to Kapala. Because um, I have no idea where Percy is. I don't know where the other turkeys are. Uh, maybe it's not a large floor. I, I really don't know. Oh, no. Careful there. Uh, what do we have in the shop and what is down here to the left? I have not seen a turkey. Yeah, it's it's got to be a large floor The turkeys would have We would have seen them by now. Yeah, we'd be at the bottom as well um, I don't want any of your garbage sir The teleporter might be nice Especially on this floor. Oh gosh Made it There's the bottom there's a turkey I'd love to at least get Percy on the altar. That would be pretty helpful for the future. But unfortunately, either he doesn't exist on this floor or he's maybe in a secret shop. Or he's right there. <laughs> okay, we don't have paste. Let's bomb right there, actually. Get rid of that. Uh, we can kill this guy. We don't need, we don't need him to get up top because we have the turkey really hate everything about uh, what we have to deal with moving forward though just because the ghost is gonna be here in 20 20 seconds uh, you know what we're likely not going to uh, get the the turkeys to yang or on the altar for that matter so I think we just hurry I didn't even use a rope there that was bad play on my part I just panicked uh, so yeah, the Yang's not getting the turkeys. Like, I just ask that you don't give me large levels anymore, Derek. It's not, it's not nice. 
it's always a situation where you look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, there's a vault here. Or not a vault, there's a, there's an altar here. There's, you know, there's a tur there's a lot of turkeys. There's all this stuff, the Ujedi is here. Uh, which we didn't get the Ujedi on the last level, so we gotta get it here. But anyway, like, there's a ton of stuff. And you get excited, but then you realize <laughs> there's a time limit, man. You gotta hurry. You gotta hustle. Okay, we'll just jump on your head. Um, we can get down there. We should be able to get, get over there without using any resources. Seems like a safe place to drop the key. Alright. Uh, we don't need to break pots. We have, we actually have a, quite a bit of money. We may not even need the curse pot. Well, we don't need it, but we, uh, may not want to take it. That being said, we'll, we'll at least take it down here. Gotta watch out for that horn lizard. There is another altar. Thank you, Derek. You are kind. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's try to get over there. Not a huge fan of the, those spikes, but... Uh, we don't need that gold. Honestly, I think we just, uh, just bomb right here, and we'll use some ropes to make this happen. But, uh... I don't want to accidentally take person to the exit, so I'm not even going to go over that way. Okay. There's the Kapala. We can get a torch here. But we don't need one, we're not going to the jungle. But look, we don't have paste, and <laughs> we have like no extra resources. We, ha we we do have one extra item in the the spectacles, but that's really not that exciting. Um, so yeah, I mean, like it's it might be we might get another run like the last one where we don't get much early on, but we get some good stuff later on. What do you want me to call you? Uh, I'm gonna call you... I don't wanna... Do you want me to call you Jag? But hello, how you doing? Th thank you for the... I think you followed me yesterday and I didn't see it right away. Yeah, thank you for the follow yesterday, by the way. Uh, but how, how are you doing? Yagya Nagnishka. Something like that. Uh... You're fine? That's good to hear. Let me... Hopefully we can get back up here without using a rope, because I really don't want to use one. We cannot. It's alright, though. Uh, alright, well, let, let's, let's start Quillback down his path of destruction. That works. You really enjoy my streams? Thank you! I appreciate it. I do my best. I, you know, sometimes they have pretty bad runs in this this game, and uh, it's hard for me to stay positive, but uh, I had a good run earlier. I don't know if you were here for that. We got to 748. You know, it's not like a, it's not the greatest run ever, for sure. But it's close to my PB, which is uh, is exciting. Give me your blood. We only have 3 HP, so I, I kind of feel like I, I want to farm for some blood. Gotta actually hit those. Thank you. You played only previous versions? Uh, what's your favorite so far? Like, did you like... Well, I'm assuming you like HD over Classic. Classic is really fun, but it, you know, HD obviously was a huge improvement. Uh, Splunky 2 is a big improvement too, but it, it, it definitely, it has its ups and downs. Uh, like there are definitely things that are better about HD, in my opinion. The music is one that most people agree on, I think. Uh, we're just gonna go. I don't know what I was gonna go back for anyway, but we are almost out of time. But I think the music in HD is, is so good that it, it's it's just hard to 
it's hard to compare the two because the music in two is really good too it's just it's different all right what do we had hp wise five six okay Uh, shoot. Well, I think we have to either cook a bomb or go through the vault. Was that, was there a vault up there? Either that or we have to use a bunch of ropes and get up top. I don't love cooking bombs. We don't need Van Horsing though. We really don't need him. Uh, we'll just... If we get the bow early on, we'll use that. If not, we will just, uh, telefrag the lad. Look out. <laughs> okay. Uh, turkeys for free. Hey, thank you, Brother Oats. You have a, have a great day. I really appreciate you being here. It's always good to have you around. And thank you for the good luck. I, I definitely need it. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll free the hired hand. Just in case there's an, an altar soon. That being said, I'm not gonna carry him. He can... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Die. Okay, good. I did not want him to... Get out of here, you freaking lava mander. I didn't want him to jump on that robot. What are we doing here? Thank you. Uh, sweet, we have a shop. Y you never know, it could be something great. Look out for the magmar. Okay, we gotta wait this out. Nice. Uh, we don't need the pot of gold. What do we have going on over here, though? We don't have a skeleton key, so we can't do that. We should maybe taken the key with us from the last level, but I... How was I to know there would be a... A locked door here? Okay, that, that's an awful shop. I really don't like pet shops. It, it is nice to be able to get some ropes. Uh... And, you know, we're not spending our money on anything else. Might as well get the discount. But yeah, pet shops are usually not that great. Um, Cause I really, I really need like some other stuff. Nightshade, how's it going? Oh gosh. Uh, we probably just want to cook these turkeys. Also, we had a really bad luck with the uh, drill last time. There was a shop beneath it and a bunch of lava that was really bad, but. Doesn't happen too, too regularly, I don't think. Regularly enough where uh, I probably should look like exploring the level a little bit more before I set off the drill, but uh, I don't think that's necessary. I'm glad to hear it's going good for you. Yeah, it's going pretty. Things are going well for me as well. Uh, really enjoying my time with Splunky today. I do every day, but there are definitely days where I'm like, man, I need a break. <laughs> Today I like I I could honestly go for longer. I'm not. I probably won't. Just because I think my I think my girlfriend's. I don't know if she's sick, but she hasn't been feeling super well, and so I gotta take care of her once she wakes up. She's her schedule is so messed up. Uh, it, I mean it's not really. She just basically stays awake at night because she works night shifts. But uh, she's had the last couple of days off. Usually she'll stay awake during the day on those days. But I think it's better for her to be consistent and just be awake at night rather than like try to figure it out on the days that she's off. But anyway, she's not feeling well, so I'll probably still end my stream. Um, around the same time, hopefully I go a little bit longer, like if we get a, a good run. Okay, I don't really care that that turkey died. In fact, it, it served its purpose. Hopefully we can get uh, some blood farming happening here with the vampires. Last time we only had one vampire apart from Vlad. I gotta remember though, we have to kill Vlad. We have to telefrag him. Uh, but yeah, we, we didn't have any... Uh, we didn't have two vampires to... To work with. Which is pretty bad. 
crate. I would love paste. Okay. There are two vampires. At least. Oh, I forgot, I forgot. What are we doing here? I really hate that there are other vampires here. Let's, let's try to get that really fast. Um, okay, fall, yeah, fall down there. Perfect. Now, where did Vlad go? Oh, we gotta be careful with the, oh no, he's trapped in there. He's not trapped, but. We gotta be careful with the, the curse pot. Where are you going, buddy? Oh no. Okay. This is not great, honestly. Can he fall on the spikes? Yeah, he can. Okay. Let's let's actually get another cape. Oh, come on. We may not end up farming blood after all. Let's keep that guy alive. There's another one down there. Uh, I could just use a rope. I'm, I'm nervous to do this because of the, uh, the conveyor belt. Crap, I need Vlad's cape for this. You, yeah, I was gonna say, now I think we can do it. There might be another vampire up top that didn't jump down, but I think all of them did. Okay, yeah, that's been set off. Get out of here. Um. Shoot. Was there another? Was there a vampire over here? That's the only one. Absolute garbage. Uh. Absolute garbage. We can still get some blood from that vampire, but not enough to uh, really make too much of a difference. So. Just gonna kill these guys. Uh, why was there no NPC to shoot him? Because I didn't free Van Horsing. Because uh, like, he was in like a really bad place and I would have had to cook some bombs to get him. And I just, you know, I can... You can telefrag Glad relatively easy. The reason I didn't do tell end up get, being able to telefrag him there, or at least I screwed it up, was because I was like rattled by all the other vampires. Uh, but we're okay. 17 HP. Uh, we can always get a lot still. Like we, HP wasn't really our problem last time. It was uh, losing the Yonk and not having paste. Um. Gotta remember that the skeletons move so much faster in Splunky 2 uh, as opposed to HD. HD, they're super slow. And sometimes, even though I haven't played HD too recently, like it's been like a, a week or two, or probably probably a couple weeks at least. Um, sometimes I still forget that the skeletons are so much faster in this game. It makes no sense at all. It does it makes sense that they move faster. It doesn't make sense that I keep forgetting is what I'm saying, because I play this game way more than I play HD even. And yeah. No crates in here, which is not great. Like even if we got a bomb box or something just to give us a little bit of extra uh, power moving forward. That'd be good. I would obviously I prefer paste over that. Like even Honestly, even over like three bomb boxes, because we're gonna get the clone gun, right? Like, we really don't need the bombs. Um, I don't see anything going on on this floor. Although we should, we should, we should cook the turkey while we have an easy uh, place to do that. Oh, get out of here, dude. Where did the turkey go? Once someone uh, shoots some flames, I'll throw the turkey up at it. There we go, cooked turkey. I think I'm just gonna go.
Uh, Madam Tusk could still be very, uh, very useful. But we'll see. Uh, last time she gave us... I think the, the Pitcher's Mitt was the only thing that she really gave, gave us a value. But Pitcher's Mitt without paste isn't so great. I'm trying to think of what else we got from her last time. I think it was just... We might have gotten a pile of ropes. But I think we just got like... Uh, items we could carry, like the teleporter. I think we got that. So, I saw Grim do that yesterday. But he, he again, he's doing speed runs. Like, while he's waiting for Olmec to come back up, he starts pushing the, the block there. I shouldn't have done that, but you know what? Anyway, yeah, like... I don't need to do that because I'm not doing speed runs, but at the same time, like, man, I really, I probably should at least try to speed up runs, at least in general, even if I'm not going for, like, like high, like, super fast times, just to, uh, maybe help with the fact that I take so long in the, co like, on Cosmic Ocean runs, like, two and a half hours is a long time to still die and be, like, not even halfway through the Cosmic Ocean, I feel like. Uh, it's pretty, pretty disheartening. So the sooner I get there, the better. That's always, I should, I should just jump there. I'm kind of like, the way I'm playing this, uh, third phase, I'm kind of trying to act like I don't have Vlad's cape. Uh or any items at all. Because you can do it. You can do it, like, uh... without any of the items. It is such a time investment. It is hard to be uh, mentally sharp two runs in a row that go that far. It really is. So hopefully this run... I mean, last run, though, like, I... I don't know if I was too mentally sharp... Especially not at the end. It's even- it's hard for me to stay mentally sharp for, like, even one run. But hopefully this run, you know, we can make some things happen regardless. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, last run was... It was- it was really good up until the- the, the way I died. Like, the jelly always kills me. Jelly or fall damage, those are the two big things. Uh... I think we're good to go. We really have not needed the hired hands at all. Uh, other than to carry the clone gun to the ice caves, but like after that we haven't needed him. I don't have, oh I do not have the, just whip! Okay. I do not have the spike shoes. Just gotta remember that. You suck, assassin. All right. Yeah, we, we want to... We want to keep this, this guy alive. That would have been a good place to set him in there, maybe, but, like... Hmm. Honestly, it might be good to go back there. Actually, let's think this through. Is that a good place to set him? I think he can get out of there pretty easily, actually. Unless we were to get rid of certain platforms, but... Look out! Come up here, buddy. Okay. You're dead. Go to sleep. Stop! You idiot! Alright. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, the higher hand are pretty, pretty dumb. Uh, but, you know... Get what you pay for. Uh, and we didn't pay anything for them, so. Uh. Jetpack is interesting, but we're not gonna take it. Just give me paste. Like, the web gun is fine. 
it's really not, but... The Matic is very good. So, uh, it'll help us to create a good place to put the Hired Hand, and we're gonna just get this other one. He won't be fully trained by the time we want him to be trained, but, uh, regardless. The Jasons are very stupid, is that what you call them? The Jasons? Yeah, they're, they're not bright at all. Okay. Uh, shoot. Let's, you know, I'm just gonna use another rope. I know I can get it back up there without it, but, uh... We gotta hurry here. So I need you to carry this. There's a rock there! Of course there's a rock there, you jerk. Uh, carry the Matic. Thank you. And then once he jumps out of my hands, we'll grab him again. Jump out of my hands. Okay. There is an altar here, but we... I don't know where Percy is. I think we're just gonna go. Look out! Uh, gosh dang it, dude. Okay. No, no, you're you're good. Just go to go to sleep there. This is fine. No. Oh, okay. We're gonna be okay, I think. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh. You know, you can carry that for now. But I don't think we can take it with us. Unless we get the other hired hand. We don't really want the axolotl. If I'm being completely honest. Okay. Let's do this really fast. The axolotl. They're, they're a lot of... They're so... They are very cute. They're like... They're too cute. Cute but deadly. Uh... that up, not whip. It always feels so bad to use up the parachute, but at the same time, I, I hate having the parachute. It feels bad because I'm like, man, I didn't need to do that. But, uh, yeah. Um, we don't have paste, so we really, we really do not want to, we don't really want to leave this guy with the Matic. I'll probably try to get the other hired hand to carry the Matic, just because, again, it'll make the next level so much easier. But it's going to be hard. Because the other guy, he, he's he's pretty tricky to control, I feel like. Uh, and we want Excalibur. We don't have a good way to do the Onk skip. Could've, we could have taken the jetpack and just done it, but... Also, no altar here, right? There's an altar on the last floor, not this level. Which is honestly for the best, because there's already a lot of things that I want to do here. Okay, well, let's kill these flying fish. Just so the hired hand doesn't have anything to... Uh, oh gosh, I cannot see you. To lock onto, I guess? Okay, get up here. I think that's... I think that's everything. Not a huge fan of this. So I'm gonna use a rope here. I don't wanna go back in the water. Right there, I wanna come over here. Come on. Come on, humphead. I hate it. I hate it, cause I'm trapped! Get- Stop! Your hitbox is so bad! Alright, we're just coming in here. The water physics suck so much. I genuinely hate them. Uh, well that, that's okay. We're- 14 HP, you know, we're still- we're still alive. But there goes the hired hand. He will not- he'll not help us out here. Uh, I don't know- I don't know what his problem is. He just- he can't control himself once I free him from Humphead. And I don't know if it's the way I kill Humphead, maybe. It's like- it just glitches him out. I really hope they fix him, though, in the future. Because look at this! How am I- what am I supposed to do here? Uh, I can't pick him up in the water. Like, when he's- when he's- Swimming like this. Um, was there an altar on this level? I didn't think there was. Anyway, so what we have to do, we have to bring him up here. Get him to go to sleep for a second. We have to hurry, though. No, there was, there was an altar on the last level, but not this one. Stop. I don't know what his problem is. I'm so upset. Oh. 
We don't need the Matic. Like, it's not a big deal. It's just, it's so annoying. Because, like, what is he locked on to? That man was dead set on committing suicide to a freaking lion trap, I swear to god. Alright. Where's Excalibur? We gotta go. Uh... I, I don't know. <laughs> Fired hand. <laughs> That's right. Oh my god. It's always that one though. And then... I was talking about it earlier. There's one other one that's pretty bad too. Uh, Cause most of them- Oh, it's the Ice Caves one. The Ice Caves one, for whatever reason, he's he's a freak too. He doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, he, he like, glitches out all the time. Wait, you're not fully trained, are you? No. One more level will do it, but we, like, it doesn't matter. We gotta find somewhere to set him on this level anyway. Okay, that was spooky. Alright, where can we set this this guy? Down there. But then we have to use a rope to get out ourselves, I think. Alright, we gotta, we gotta hurry. Like, we don't have time to, to dilly-dally. Uh, can you carry the clone gun for me, please? Thank you. I don't know how long he stays asleep at this point. It's not full a full two minutes, so we gotta hurry. Okay, you know what? That's the skeleton. The skeleton being alive there. I, I guess I understand that one. But I don't really uh, approve. Um, get out of here, dude. Use a bomb there. Just use a bomb. We've already spent a minute here. We found the perfect place to set him. For some reason, again, he won't push that block. But that's, that's fine. Uh, we're in the exact same situation we were in last time without paste. So, hopefully I don't screw it up this time. But, you know, if we do, we do. Uh, that is a bear trap. Look out. We do not have the spike shoes, so we could have died there easily. Get, get the... Get out of here. What a nightmare. Okay, we're gonna leave that there. I really hate that bear trap. Do I have anything to throw at this? You know what, we're just gonna ignore it. Uh, we don't have time to mess around. We do have- there's a pot right here. We, don't, we have the pitcher's mitt. We have the pitcher's mitt. Look out. Okay, remember that bear trap is there. Yep, a minute left. Should be plenty of time. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully I don't screw it up this time. I really don't know what I did wrong last time. Uh, okay, we gotta get rid of this. Look out. Uh, we gotta get rid of that. Because that's right where I need to be. We have 30 seconds. Maybe a little bit closer. It's so hard to... I cannot do this. <laughs> I'm not precise enough. I don't think that's gonna work. I think that's screwed up. Yeah. Uh... I, like, I wish, I kind of wish I was, I don't know, maybe playing on a keyboard, uh, a mouse with a mouse and keyboard, I would be more precise. I think I'm going to actually restart this run, though. Uh, I won't. We're going to go until we get the, but the hired hand's going to die, like, if we don't get out of here quickly. Uh, where is the exit? There it is. Um, we're going to give it a shot again, but I, I really don't want to go back to the cosmic ocean right now. Uh, being completely honest. So, we're gonna see if there's an eggplant in the ice caves. I doubt there will be. I don't want him to be alive. What am I doing? Or awake, I should say. But yeah, I'm pretty upset with the, the way that that went down. That's that's actually two runs today where we did not get paced at all. Uh, and I don't see that very often anymore, so I'm not sure what's happening. Also, give me my blood back, you jerk. Um... Obviously, I'm just getting very unlucky with paste spawning. But I did, I had like one good run, or maybe two. I don't have spike shoes either. We can't deal with that very effectively, but we can whip it. We actually do want to whip it. Get the blood. Uh. Yeah, I had like one or two runs where I got paste early on, but then I they, they ended up being terrible runs anyway. So I just restarted. Maybe I shouldn't have. Because having the 
It seems like having the paste has been my biggest, uh, biggest issue these last couple of attempts. Or not having it, having it, I should say. Okay. Let's go deal with, uh, Kingu. Paste. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. We already lost the Ankh. Uh... So yeah, really the only th the only way I'll keep playing on this run. Although we're at like almost five o'clock, maybe I should just give it a give it an honest attempt. I don't want to restart now. We've we've spent you know thirty five minutes on this run. Uh, did we look for crates in here very thoroughly? We did not, and there is a crate over there. Okay, ropes. We actually need bombs. Um. Because we wasted all those bombs trying to do the skip. I'm going to probably practice it some more. I don't know why. Like, it, it works so well so many times in a row. So I'm not sure what I... I mean, I like, normally I would take more time there and, like, try to line it up perfectly. But where I was rushing so the ghost wouldn't show up, it, it makes it harder to do that. But anyway, we're, we're going to be okay regardless. Let's, uh... There's no present in there. There is pace, though. All right. So, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to keep going on this run. Because, like I said, 35 minutes. We don't want to just throw this away. Uh, and pace is very good. And maybe we'll get, like, very far. Um, on this run, regardless. Get out of here, dude. Uh, no climbing gloves this time either. Which is kind of annoying when you're in, uh, the ice caves. For sure. That's Waddler. I'll just use a bomb. I don't care. Uh, I don't want to take too much time here. Okay. I think we can make that jump. Yep. Uh, go back to sleep. We gotta get out of here before three minutes. So he doesn't wake up. You know what? Oop, I almost got thrown by that. That yeti. No, no, no. Okay, that's that's fine. Uh, we might as well grab this, even if we don't plan on using it necessarily. Okay, go go back over here a little bit. Hopefully, he's in a good spot. Yeah. Give me the blood. Give me all the blood. Okay. Um, I really wish we had spring shoes here. So many, so many Yetis. 11 HP is not that great. But I mean, we did lose the Ankh just recently, so. Uh, okay. I think we're just gonna go. Uh, unless there's an altar here, which there is. Shoot. Um, so we gotta go hurry up and put the... The hired hand back to sleep. And then we'll try to get this other hired hand. Can I grab here without getting... You know what? Use a rope. We have plenty of ropes. Uh, and then put the other hired hand. Or try to grab the other hired hand on our way down with uh, with Percy. So now before five minutes. So we have to get out of here before five minutes anyway. Because um, the ghost will show up and then we'll be... SOL. No, wait, 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 don't, don't go to sleep, don't go to sleep. You know what? Yes. You know what, actually, it would be great. Oh no, he's, he's glitched. He's hanging, he's never gonna get off that rope. I don't know what his problem is, but he, he literally will not get off that rope, unless we do something like that. Throw it at him. Can you carry this? But he's still glitched, he won't move. Uh, this happened on the last 
So, you know what? We're gonna kill him. No, wait, wait. He's gonna go to sleep now. Maybe we can... Yeah, he, he's glitched. Uh, so freaking wild. I don't understand what that what that's about. Careful there, buddy. Uh, so yeah, this this hired hand and the hump head one. I don't know if that's they're working as intended. It doesn't seem like it, but if they are, then that's pretty messed up. Uh, because they're hard enough to deal with as it is, and when they don't like behave like any of the other hired hands. They're just so, uh, unpredictable. It's, it's pretty annoying. Okay. Look out. Look out. We're okay. Gotta go quickly. I hope there's nothing down there that is bad. Uh, hit the, hit the thing. We're just gonna go. I was gonna look for an altar or a shop, but... Yeah, you can, you can go to sleep. Look out. Uh, okay. We're good. Right. Marley MM, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Absolutely awesome. Oh, look out. A bad time to be raided. I'm, you know, gonna die. No, I'm not gonna die. But no, thank you so much. I really, I really do appreciate that. Where did uh, Percy go? Okay, he's dead. I figured he was dead. The lone Eskimo. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that as well. Uh, tall clay bat. Also, Marley MM. Tall clay bat. Uh, tall clay snake. We kind of gotta hurry here because the uh, hired hand's gonna wake up. Grace, Rose, Rosary X, is that how you say that? Thank you as well. Tall clay bat, was that what it was? Um, yeah, not having spring shoes here is just kind of, kind of tricky. Tall clay eye. Yeah, we're just gonna go up and around that. I really don't know where this, uh, there it is, okay. I'll double check, but we have to hurry. Um, any CO run is a good run. That's true, that is true. Seven, eight is not bad at all. Uh, I love you, hey, let's see that. I, I, I love your, uh, your emote there. I like that a lot. That's cute. Uh, I still need to get emotes. I just barely became affiliate like last week, and I I'm waiting for the the artist to finish my the emote that I have. But yeah, thank you again. Uh, what are we looking for? Double checking. Tall clay bat. Okay, good to go. Really hate that. He's gonna wake up very soon. There is a shop here though, it's a hired hand shop, so I mean, uh, if the guy wakes up and dies, we'd be able to get another one, but I think we're good. Oops. Okay. You, you two weeks ago? Wait, what was what was you two weeks ago? Oh gosh. All right, uh, careful here. I hear Percy, Percy was in the shop, I think. He was a pet shop. Affiliate, that's awesome, congratulations. Yeah, it feels, it feels good. Do you mostly uh, just play Spelunky, or do you play other things on stream? I pretty much just do Spelunky, but I've been I've been itching to go back and play some. Uh... Okay, careful. We don't want to. We don't want to leave. 
chilling anywhere. It's a dangerous. Oh gosh, I did not see that guy. Uh, Super Mario Maker 2. That's awesome. Uh, I've been itching to go back and play some more Demon Souls because I, I I didn't finish. Oops, careful. I finished my playthrough of it, but I didn't finish. I was gonna go back and get all like all the trophies and stuff. So I was on New Game Plus, but I started focusing more on Spelunky 2. So I'm trying to think about how I'm gonna handle it in the future, but I, I kind of want to go back and do like maybe morning streams of Demon Souls. We'll see. Okay, we gotta hurry again because the hired hand is gonna wake up in two minutes roughly. I guess we can hurry and go back up top and put him back to sleep. That's probably smart. Nice shade, you love the axolotl, huh? I mean, they are like like you said, they are very cute. Uh, okay. Now we should be good. We should have plenty of time. Just gonna come back down this way. Gotta grab Chi Lin. I actually haven't played Super Mario Maker very much at all. I'm not very creative. Uh, and I think a big part of the draw of that game is, you know, obviously, like, being able to create uh, your own levels. But... I mean, playing other people's levels is fun, too. Teleporting is one of your favorite things. Yeah, it, it can definitely teleport. That's usually how I die because of it. That's why I say it's deadly. Uh, although once you like, it's just because it's it's kind of a weird. It's like the third jump if you have Vlad's cape. Uh, the third time you press X, it's like it teleports you, or maybe it's I don't know. But yeah, like the way it functions is pretty pretty strange. But it is teleporting is a lot of fun. Uh, your favorite item is the telepack. Honestly, I think I prefer the, the teleporter over the telepack. Just because the telepack, you know, you can get blown up and lose it. Teleporter at least, like, even though you, you have to hold it in your hand, it's not gonna get you, like, blown up. Stop. Oh my gosh, he's dead. He's so stupid. All right, he's fine. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna bring him with us. Here. Oh, careful. Almost got in trouble there. So I have not seen the sun challenge yet. Like, usually we've, we've been seeing it, like, right off the bat. So this may be, like, the one time where we actually need the hired hand. So I'm glad I have him. But we also we have to keep him alive. Um, we've got to find Wadler. Just come through with me. There's Wadler. And there's the sun challenge. So we don't actually need him. Uh, go go to sleep, buddy. You know what? We can sacrifice him. That's what I should do. Uh, we don't we don't mind using bombs or ropes here. We want to make sure we at least have one bomb, I think, for the for the challenge. But I'm gonna use Excalibur to like really take care of it. Either one, as long as it can teleport, that's right. And uh, Guillotine Danny says butts. Absolutely. Um, how's it going, man? Okay, let's leave that there. Let's, uh, let's try and do this. Take care of business. Just woke up. That's all right. I wake up pretty late too, like, uh, and you're, you know, three hours behind where I'm at, so. Okay, witch doctor, go away. Okay, I think we're okay now. I don't like that this uh, necromancer keeps spawning skeletons uh, that come, are making their way down here, but that's all right. Get out of here, dude. 
Okay. Sweet. Uh, don't pick that up. seconds to get out of here, so we're not going to have time to sacrifice Percy on the altar. But that's fine. Oh boy. It's a lot of blood. Uh, we're going to have time to get him to the exit, at least. Not going to have time to get the health from that. But we're doing okay. Uh, five more journal entries, then you're done with Spelunky. When you say done with Spelunky, do you mean you're not gonna play it anymore, or you just mean like you're gonna have 100% in the... Or have you have you done like Speedlunky and stuff? Don't tell me you're gonna quit Spelunky forever. Uh, okay, you're still playing this. That's good. Wait, what time is it for you because where I am it's afternoon. It is, I'm at, f it's five o'clock here. Uh, I'm Eastern Standard Time. Tune in late, how did he get both the clone gun and Excalibur to Wadler? I used uh, a hired hand, so I freed the hired hand after Olmec, the Olmec fight, and then you take him for three levels, he's fully trained, although that one died, so I had to do another one, but then you, you get you get them to carry that. Uh, 2 p.m. Somni is crazy, I'm sorry, man. In Nevada is Nightshade. You never get to, yeah, it sucks. That's the thing, like, if you have insomnia, it's really bad, it's really hard to come by. Uh... Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Junior Herd, is that? Junior Herd? Uh, you're getting a Splunk, Splunky tattoo in three days. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Kapala Splunky tattoo, by the way. It's really cool. I mean, I haven't seen what, what it's going to look like, but, you know, the Kapala is, like, a really cool item, so. Honestly, like, apart from losing the Ankh again, which I'm sick of doing that. <laughs> I'm so sick of losing the Ankh. But uh, apart from that, this run is very good. You know, health could be better, but... Okay. Okay. Uh... You don't want to be that white guy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's understandable, I guess. I'm really like bad with coming up for ideas for tattoos. Otherwise, I would definitely have more than the one that I do have. Okay, we gotta look out for that arrow trap. Uh, we'll use a rope. We don't need to do anything crazy there. We could have waited till the frog came over here and set it off, but. I'd rather just get through here. And I heard Percy. Probably over there to the left, which is not that tempting, I guess. It's only 6 HP. Um, and no, you have no climbing gloves this time. Which could be bad, but it also could be okay. If I had the spring shoes, I would be a lot more comfortable with not having climbing gloves. But for whatever reason, not having the spring shoes, I'm just like, nah. You kind of need those. Yeah, there's Percy. Good to go, though. I have a giant portrait of myself smiling on his back. That's that's right. No, I have like a street light with like roots. I'd show you, but it's embarrassing. Because uh, it's pretty bad. I was talking to Guillotine about this yesterday with like the artists. I feel like they kind of botched it. And I didn't do a lot of research at the time. Because I was just like, I was like, oh, I just want a tattoo, you know? Uh, and so I didn't like fully research what the artist's like portfolio was and stuff. They're not a bad artist. It's just it's mostly it's part of it's because of the like the way I wanted the streetlight to look. Cause I'm I don't know if you know who Streetlight Manifesto is. Like they're like one of my favorite bands. And I was like I want their logo on me, which again you know maybe I don't want it now. 
but I, I mean, I do. I can still like them. I just, you know, it's one of those things. Like you, your your taste in music can definitely change. Or we're, like, you know, you can find out, like, a band you really, like, end up being, like, not great people. So I may end up getting it covered up at some point, but we'll see. I, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I don't, like, it's on my forearm, so, like, if I'm wearing long sleeves, you can never see it anyway. Uh, was there another altar? Did I, did I imagine that? I don't remember, but we have 57 HP. We're doing fine on HP. Probably should get these crates, and maybe should have even used a bomb to get the other one down there. But I think we're just gonna go. No, we have another minute. We might as well go down and get it. Uh, your first two tat, your first tattoo was the pie symbol on your back, and you got it when you were drunk at 16. Yeah. That's the thing, like, I, I was not drunk at all. <laughs> and I was like, I was older. So I feel like I should have known better, but uh, even still, I feel like it was my first tattoo, you know, I just, I just wasn't patient enough. I follow like, uh, or I haven't, I haven't been on this subreddit in a while, but like r slash tattoos, and there are a lot of great ones there, but Every time I see someone say, this is my first tattoo, and I'm like, and it's like super cool, I'm like, man, I wish I was you. <laughs> I wish I was smarter about getting my first tattoo. But yeah, I guess if you can't see it, it's not too big of a deal. Okay, we gotta go. Uh, kind of a slow start here. We gotta go all the way to the right. Look out. Uh, that's alright. This is actually maybe a good place to kill the first head. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Not a huge fan of what we just did. Go through here. We're okay. This might be a good place to kill the second head. want to make sure I actually like am able to be on top of the head I missed we're okay we're okay we're okay I'll just wait here like there's no reason to, to rush this I think we're safe as long as we're underneath the uh, egg part we won't get crushed uh... <laughs> I'm so bad Alright, give me the money. I almost died there, I think. Okay. Mario World speedruns with a hand cam, and you didn't want people to be bored looking at your hands for nine minutes? <laughs> uh, and then Nightshade says, I'm still not sure if I want tattoos yet, but whenever I see them on others, they look so cool. And I know that that tiny hop almost killed me. But we're good. Uh, an early temple is pretty bad, though. Guy's alive. We have pace this time, though. Uh, pretty, pretty pog. Yeah, I don't know, like, it, it took me a long time before I, like, decided what I wanted for a tattoo, and then, you know, I ended up being something that I was like, well, maybe I didn't want that. Okay, careful. I really don't know. Die! Okay, thank you. That croc man is fine. You can leave it alone. Shouldn't cause any problems. There's the final orb. Go up top, please. Thank you. Gotta be careful here. We don't know where the exit is yet. 
Hopefully it's close by. That's right, hit each other. Um, bottom... Was that bottom left? Or just top left? I don't remember, but the orb was over there somewhere. <laughs> uh, careful. Gonna get rid of that. There's the exit. Not a huge fan of this sorceress being here. Dang it, I missed. I'm gonna use a bomb, I don't care. And the spider, honestly the spider could be really bad too. Uh, I don't mind using bombs here. To get rid of stuff. So that's, uh... That's bottom left, or bottom right. I have a hard time with my directions sometimes. So here's what I want to do. No, never mind. Let's drop down on top of this lady. Look out. Okay. I'm actually going to take a piss break really fast. I gotta, I gotta pee really bad. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Let's see what I missed here. You have a Triforce over your heart too, which you will probably should be cringe about, but I still like it. Dude, the Triforce is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of people have like Triforce tattoos and they're pretty sweet. Uh, moth on left thigh, I'm assuming. Beauty and the Beast on the right one. Ornaments with the moths. I like, I like moths as tattoos, they're pretty sweet. Uh, an underboot piece. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, dude, the death moth is pretty sweet. Okay, let's, uh, let's dial. I'm only on 7.5, so... <laughs> You know, I mean, you, you never know how far we can make it. I'm gonna kill this skeleton, even though it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, that's number one. There's the exit. We probably should have saved that for last. You know, let's go to the top of the level. We already fell down this far. Okay, I saw that orb over there. I'm just gonna look over here really fast. There's another orb. Oh no, we're okay. Regular moths. Yeah, regular moths are cool, too. Uh, I don't know, like, so my interests... Like, I like animals. 
but like I wanted to get like a sloth tattoo, but then I'm like, would a sloth tattoo actually be that cool? Because I love sloths. Like they're they're incredible. Sharks as well. And I've seen a lot of cool shark tattoos. Um, so I, I don't know. Also, where is that imp? Because I would like to, to dispatch that imp. Oh, we gotta get rid of that bat. Actually. This is a nightmare, by the way, uh, of an exit. It's not really, but like the, just the setup of the level is pretty scary. With that robot there, we don't have really a good place to stand. I, I don't know. And also that imp, I have no idea where it is, but it could cause a problem. It could actually drop the, the magma pot on top of me. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But because, oh, there it is. Okay. I was say, because I'm worried about that, we should probably hurry. The ETA on my emotes, hopefully, I mean, I honestly don't know, because they said like two to three working days, and I, I, they finished my badges like in one day, and then they finished, they haven't finished my emotes yet, and it's been like two or three days, but it was over the weekend too, so who knows. Hopefully, like, I was, I was honestly hoping I'd have them by yesterday, but since I didn't, I was hoping for today, and I woke up and I got a, an email from Fiverr, and I was like, oh, great, they're done. But they weren't. So, I really don't know. Maybe I have an email now. We'll see. I haven't checked my, my emails in a while. Um, I do not have an email from Fiverr, so... But I have, like, two slots unlocked now because of a... Because of a... Notorious BLT's kindness yesterday, uh, giving me all those gift subs. All right, uh, so I'm gonna do something like that. Nice. Come on, I, I, I can make this jump. I know I can. There we go. More bombs. So I really want to get rid of this snake. Um. I kind of want to get rid of the the mummy cat as well. And again, I don't care if I have to use bombs to do it. Uh, oh gosh, we just set the mummy cat free. All right, we're good. Uh, I'm gonna pause it really fast. Pa Panthers and tigers. The Simpsons cat is so good. Uh, you saw a cool sloth tattoo with eat all day, sleep all night, party never. I like I like that that slogan. <laughs> that sounds like me. Uh, more like play Spelunky all day though, and all night, and then like sleep in the morning, like when I should be awake, uh, waking up rather. Curse Kitty is bad Kitty, but this honestly this Cobra could be really bad too. And actually, there's one shooting Venom from that side too. Uh, I'm gonna use a rope here. We got we got to make sure the the croc man doesn't see me. Okay, I think that was worth it. But again, I spent so much time on the temple levels just clearing out enemies that the the jelly almost always shows up. Okay, I don't mind using resources at all. Spit, spit one more time. Thank you. Oh, freak off. Okay. Uh, get rid of that. All the orbs are here, at least. That's, that's very good. Look out. There's more poison. Hmm. I don't really know the way I'm handling this. I, I get distracted by so many things. Uh, okay, where is the exit, though? That's the, that's the question. Orbs are all top right. Any poison coming off the, uh... Okay. Yo, yo, where, where is the exit, though? It's gotta be in the center here, doesn't it? Or maybe bottom left? Yeah, it could be bottom. Oh, no! I did not see that. I saw the, the big one 
right by the snake. That that's why Temple sucks though. So seven seven, not too good. Uh, I got what was it? What was it earlier? What was my last run? Seven forty. Seven forty something. I don't know. Magical numbers. Uh, rip. I definitely deserve that, but because I, I again I spend so much time just trying to clear out the level, and then I by like the time. I need to like actually get out of there. The jelly's about to show up, so I panic and I start rushing. Uh, let me see here. Who is who is alive? Tom's Pizza might still be alive. He seems pretty cool. Let me see if he is. Uh, he is alive. What about? Yeah, we'll go, we'll go with Tom's Pizza. I haven't really watched his stream too much, but he, he was doing working on like uh, speed running all, unlocking all characters. I don't know if he's still doing that, but he's playing Spelunky too, so that's good enough for me. Uh, so I'm gonna send you guys over there. Thanks for being here, by the way. Thanks for the follows, everyone. I appreciate it. Uh, Marley, thank you for the raid again. That was awesome. I'll have to give you a follow. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, let me pull up his channel really fast because I like to be over there when I actually raid. Because otherwise, I'm leaving because of the way. It Just weird. It's pretty good light. I didn't start the time again. I remember to start the timer. Yo, Dumpster Shark. Hell 